Wait! Before we start, do you want a bundle of 30 printable Korean PDF cheat sheets, teaching you words and phrases for conversations for free? Then click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get access. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is helicopter. 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 Helicopter 소리 때문에 아무것도 안 들려요. I cannot hear anything because of the sound of the helicopter. Helicopter 소리 때문에 아무것도 안 들려요. Common. Black. Common. Common. Black. Common 색 티셔츠 입어도 돼요? Can I wear a black T-shirt? Common 색 티셔츠 입어도 돼요? 갈색. Brown. 갈색. 갈색. Brown. 제 눈은 갈색이에요. My eyes are brown. 제 눈은 갈색이에요. 회색. Gray. 회색. 회색. Gray. 회색으로 주세요. Give me the gray one. 회색으로 주세요. 쉬다. Rest. 쉬다. 쉬다. Rest. 늦어서 쉬려고요. It's late, so I'm going to rest. 늦어서 쉬려구요. 듣다. Hear. 듣다. 듣다. Hear. 잘안 들려요. I cannot hear you clearly. 잘안 들려요. 바라다. Want. 바라다. 바라다. Want. 오늘 다른 것을 해보기를 바라고 있어요. I want to try something different today. 오늘 다른 것을 해보기를 바라고 있어요. 역겨운 Disgusting 역겨운 역겨운 Disgusting 내 친구는 역겨운 음식을 좋아한다. My friend likes disgusting food. 
내 친구는 역겨운 음식을 좋아한다. 11 11 11 11 11이 백화점은 11층까지 있어요. This department store has 11 floors. 이 백화점은 11층까지 있어요. 12 12 12 12 12 12 나누기 2는 6이다. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 12 나누기 2는 6이다. 13 13 13 13 13 그는 13년 동안 가진 고생을 배견했다. He put up with all sorts of hardship for 13 years. 그는 13년 동안 가진 고생을 배견했다. 매일 email 매일 매일 email 너 이메일 주소 알려줄래? Can you tell me your email address? 너 이메일 주소 알려줄래? 휴대폰 cellular phone 휴대폰 휴대폰 cellular phone 거의 모든 지역에서 휴대폰으로 전화를 걸수 있습니다. With a cellular phone, you can make calls from almost anywhere. 거의 모든 지역에서 휴대폰으로 전화를 걸수 있습니다. 문자 Text message 문자 문자 text message 전화 통화 못 하니까 문자로 이야기해요. I cannot talk on the phone, so let's talk through text messages. 전화 통화 못 하니까 문자로 이야기해요. 입 mouth 입입 입. mouth 입을 크게 벌려 봐. Open your mouth wide. 입을 크게 벌려 봐. Ball, chick. Ball, ball, chick. 볼을 깨물어서 염증이 생겼습니다. I bit my chick. So I got an infection. 볼을 깨물어서 염증이 생겼습니다. 코 nose 코코 코. nose 코가 간지러워요. My nose is itchy. 코가 간지러워요. 공책 notebook 공책 공책 notebook 공책 좀 빌려줘 please lend me your notebook 공책 좀 빌려줘 연필 pencil 연필 연필 pencil 연필은 상 뒤에 있어요. 
The pencil is behind the table. 연필은 상 뒤에 있어요. 지우개 Eraser 지우개 지우개 Eraser 학생이었을 때 친구들과 지우개 게임을 자주 했습니다. When I was a student, I often played eraser games with my friends. 학생이었을 때 친구들과 지우개 게임을 자주 했습니다. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! Imagine you're at the bus stop trying to find a restaurant. The bus arrives and you want to ask the driver where the bus goes. What do you say? 안녕하세요, 이재입니다. Jerry here. Anyone can learn to use public transportation in Korea. In this lesson, you learn how. Mark and Karen are using public transportation to find a restaurant. Let's watch. Now the lesson focus. Here's how to ride a bus in Korea. In Seoul, a bus system connects every corner of the city. Buses are called busu in Korean and they have three colors in Seoul. Green is for smaller areas, blue is for connecting different districts, and red buses connect different cities. If you want to check a bus route, say your destination and the phrase 에 가나요? Listen again to what Mark said. 아저씨, 종로 1가에 가나요? Mister, is this going to 종로 1가? Passengers on the bus must board using the front door and exit using the back door. You can transfer from a bus to another bus or from a bus to the subway almost for free up to 5 times, but you have to make sure to transfer within 30 minutes. To receive free transfers, make sure to scan your card whenever you exit the bus or subway. You can transfer between subways for free even if they are operated by different companies. Sometimes, you may be charged additional fees depending on the distance you travel. When you get on the bus, scan your transportation card. If you hear 잔액이 부족합니다 or you have insufficient balance, you can pay by cash. Take your cash and put it into the box near the driver's seat. You receive your change but use nothing bigger than 5,000 won bills when you pay by cash. When you want to pay for two or more passengers, say the number and 명이요. For example, if you want to pay for two, say 두 명이요. For three, 세 명이요. After saying this phrase, wait a second. The driver will change the setting of the card scanner. When it's done, scan your card to pay for multiple people. When you've paid once for multiple people, you can transfer only two buses. Make sure to say 두 명이요 or 세 명이요 when you transfer to the next bus. Otherwise, you won't get the transfer service. When you're on the bus, make sure to listen to the announcement. The announcement will be in Korean and English and will be displayed inside the bus. If you hear your bus stop's name, press the red bell that is nearest to you. If no one presses it, the bus won't stop. When the bus arrives, make sure to scan your card. The card reader is placed next to the exit door. When your card was not scanned correctly, you'll hear 카드를 다시 대주십시오, which means please scan your card again. 
make sure you put your card on the reader for at least one second. Like this quick lesson? Watch the full version at koreanclass101.com to understand the whole dialogue. While you're there, learn about Korean culture with our audio lessons and cultural word lists. Sign up for your free lifetime account at koreanclass101.com. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. Hey, if you're enjoying these writing lessons and want to practice your writing, then get even more writing lessons and printable writing practice sheets inside our learning program. So sign up for a free lifetime account right now. It takes less than 30 seconds. Just click the link in the description to sign up and start learning in seconds. Hi everybody, Jay here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I will answer some of your most common Korean questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I say F and V in Korean? Actually, there are no F and V sounds in Korean. In fact, there is no difference between P and F or B and V. Therefore, the P and F sounds are both pronounced as P and B and V as B. Let's go through some examples so you can learn how to make these sounds in Korean. Let's say your name is Fred. How would you write it in Korean? Since fu corresponds with pu in Korean, you'd write it as Fredu using pup. Another example would be with the name Victoria. Since vu corresponds with bu, you'd write it as Victoria, changing the vu sound to bu sound. Let's do one more with a tricky name like Joseph. Here, the PH makes an FU sound, so you'll need to use PUP, and the name will be written as Joseph. Although the Korean alphabet doesn't distinguish between PU and FU or BU and VU, many Korean people nowadays are learning the differences. So, if you have one of these letters in your name, just tell your Korean friends how you'd like your name to be pronounced. And that's it. I hope that clears things up. Please leave any more questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. 다음 시간에 만나요. Hi everybody, Jay here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Korean questions. The question for this lesson is, how do you pronounce the consonants shiot and sangshiot? Sometimes Korean characters change the sound depending on their placement in the word. Shiot and sangshiot are both good examples. Let's go over how to pronounce shiot and sangshiot correctly. When shiot is at the beginning of a word, it makes an s sound. When it's the final consonant in Korean pachim, it changes to a T sound. When sangshiot is at the beginning of a word, it makes a S sound. But when it's in the bachim position, it also changes to a T sound. Let's see some examples so you can hear how they sound. In the Korean word 사랑, which means love, the shiot is at the beginning of the word. Therefore, it's pronounced as S. Here's an example with shiot as the final consonant in the word mat, meaning taste. The shiot is in the pachim position, so it's pronounced as t. Now, let's take a look at some examples with sangshiot. The word sida, which means to write, begins with sangshiot, so the beginning of the word has a s sound. Another example would be itta, which is the Korean word for the verb to be. Here, the sangshiot is in the pachim position, so it's pronounced as t. Here's a quick tip. Sometimes the rules for pachim sounds change, so make sure to check out our Hana Hana Hangul videos at koreanclass101.com to find out more about pachim rules. There you have it. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. See you next time. 다음 시간에 만나요.
Did you download your free PDF cheat sheets yet? These conversation cheat sheets are an easy way to speak more because you get cheat sheets for conversational topics like the weather, family, hobbies, and much more. And inside, you'll learn common questions and answers that you'd use in conversations, as well as tons of vocabulary. Don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description to get access. Do you know how to count bags of rice? You'll find out at the end of this lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Alicia. 안녕하세요, 노경진입니다. Welcome to Korean Counters for Beginners, where you'll learn how to count all sorts of different objects in Korean. Sungsenim, what counter will we learn in this lesson? K. First, let's take a look at what sorts of objects can be counted with this counter. When counting inanimate objects in general, you can use this counter. K. This counter can be translated as thing in English. Although it's better to use the specific counters that we're going to learn in the following lessons, you can use this counter for any inanimate object in general. For example, you can count apples with this counter as well as pens. When you're not sure which counters to use for inanimate objects, you can simply use this one. But you can't use it when you're counting animate objects such as dogs or people. Okay. Let's count from 1 to 10 with this counter. Son Seng Nim will give you the numbers one by one. Repeat after her. 한 개, 두 개, 세 개, 네 개, 다섯 개, 여섯 개, 일곱 개, 여덟 개, 아홉 개, 열 개. Did you notice that the counter sounded different when she read it for the numbers 5 to 10? Those numbers have the bat chim, or the final consonant in a Korean syllable, so it makes the counters sound stronger, a process that is called fortis. Let's hear them once again. Tasok ke, nat tasok ke, yosok ke, nat yosok ke, ilguk ke, nat ilguk ke, yodol ke. Nat yodol ke. Aup ke. Nat aup ke. Yol ke. Nat yol ke. Okay, now let's take a look at some sample sentences using this counter. Sagwa se geril sal gomnida. I'll buy three apples. Pen tasok ke tuseo. Can you give me five pens, please? 건물이 10개 있습니다. There are 10 buildings. Now it's time for a quiz. I'm going to ask you a question in English. Please answer in Korean. Are you ready? Make sure to use the right counter. How many umbrellas are there? How many computers do you have? Do you know the special counter for bags of rice? Rice is the main ingredient in Korean dishes, so it has a special counter just for the bags. The answer is... Kama. You need to use this counter to specify how many bags of rice. If you say... It means... Please give me one bag of rice. When you count a grain of rice... You can use the counter toll instead. Okay, everyone, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you next time. Hi, everyone, I'm Jehui. In this video, you will see top 15 questions you should know. Okay, let's look at the questions. 몇 살이세요? How old are you? So it's very common to ask someone's age in Korea, so don't be surprised if Someone whom you just met for the first time asks you this question. 몇 살이세요? 몇 살이세요? 스무 살이요. So you can basically say number and say 살이에요. 스무 살이에요. 서른 살이에요. And if you don't want to answer the question, you can say 몰라도 돼요. It's okay if you don't know. 뭐라고 했어요? What did you say? There are two cases. Let's see the first one. 그런데요. 뭐 했어요? 계세요? 뭐라고 했어요? You didn't understand what the other people say, so you can just simply say 뭐라고 했어요? to ask what did you say? But there's another case. Let's see. 옷이 그게 뭐예요? 별로 예쁘지도 않고. 
뭐라고 했어요? This case, you know, someone was talking something bad about you, so you upset, and you can say, what did you say? 뭐라고 했어요? To, you know, start your fight. 생일이 언제예요? When is your birthday? So it's also common to ask someone's birthday, and Korean people are very good at remembering someone's birthday and celebrating for them. For example, 생일이 언제예요? 음, 5월 3일이에요. Sometimes people will say 음력 5월 3일이에요. 음력 means lunar calendar because some people have the birthday in the lunar calendar, not the solar calendar. In this case, their um, date of birthday will be changed every year. 어디 출신이세요? Where are you from? So in that case, if you're from the US, you can say 미국 출신이에요. Or you can just simply say uh, 미국 사람이에요. I'm American. Or uh, 프랑스 사람이에요. I'm French. 어디 출신이에요? 미국 출신이에요. Or something like that. 어디에 사십니까? Where do you live? So if someone asks you, 어디에 사십니까? 음, 신촌에 살아요. So they said, like, where do you live? And the other said, I live in Shincheon. So you can simply say, 에 살아요. 신촌에 살아요. 홍대에 살아요. To say that you live in this specific area. I love where I used to live, which is Hodemun, the center of the city. 어디에서 일해요? Where do you work? Even though you met someone for the first time, you might be asked, you know, 어디에서 일해요? 무슨 회사에서 일해요? Where do you work? Which company do you work? And sometimes, plus, you might hear, 연봉이 얼마예요? What is your annual salary? How much do you make for every year? Or something like that. So be ready for that. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? So if you haven't seen someone for a long time, you can ask something like, 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? Usually the common answers will be, 아, 잘 지내요. I'm doing well. 그냥요. 음, so so. Or if you want to be really honest, you can say, 잘못 지내요. I'm not doing well. 이거 뭐예요? What's this? I might just ask you, 이게 뭐예요? Like when I'm invited to a dinner, um, then if I see someone that I haven't tried yet in my life, then I can just simply say, 이거 뭐예요? What's this? And you can just simply say, 이거 something something 이에요. Like, 이거 이탈리아 음식이에요. This is Italian food or something like that. What's this? 이게 뭐예요? 이게 뭐예요? What do you think it is? 이게 뭐예요? 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? You can simply just give your full name or just first name if someone asks you 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? For example, if someone asks me 이름이 뭐예요? Then I'll say 이재희입니다 using my full name. So it's kind of sounding rude if you just give your first name only actually but if you have the name in english your name in non-korean uh, words i think that's okay to also give you only the first name because it's easier to remember 전화번호가 뭐예요? what's your phone number that might be a, a little bit more personal question we might ask someone's id of some messenger program like kakao talk or line um, but we usually don't ask someone's telephone number. But if you are asked because for official purpose or something like that, then you can just give the, you know, number with the area code. 전화번호가 뭐예요? 아, 023552입니다. So usually Korean numbers have two or three digits and four four. And you can just make some pause between 02-1234-5678. Make sure you make the pause so that they can get it easily. 한국 음식을 좋아합니까? Do you like Korean food? Yeah, that would be one of the common questions that you hear if you're not Korean. For sure, you have to say, 네, 좋아합니다. Yes, I like it. Even though you don't like some part of, like, you don't like spicy ones, in general, um, I recommend you to say, 네, 좋아합니다. I like it. But if you want to be real honest, you can say, 별로요. It's also. Or, 아니요, 별로 안 좋아합니다. No, I don't like it. 한국어를 공부한 지 얼마나 됐어요? How long have you been studying Korean? So in that case, you can just give how many months, how many years you've been studying Korean. For example, if it's for one year, you can say 1년이요, 3 years, 3년이요. Or if you just started, you can say 얼마 안 됐어요. It has not been that long. Or uh, 최근이요, recently. 
So let me ask you, 한국어를 공부한 지 얼마나 됐어요? 아, 힘내세요. 한국어를 어디서 배웠습니까? Where did you learn Korean? If you get this question, that means that your Korean is very good. Uh, when people are very impressed you Korean, um, they will just ask you where you learn it. 한국어를 어디서 배웠습니까? So you can just give the answer. For example, 어학원에서 배웠어요. I learn it from a language school. 어학원 is the word for a language school. Or you can say, 혼자서 배웠어요. I studied alone. So let me ask you the question. 한국어를 어디서 배웠어요? 아, koreanclass101.com이요? 감사합니다. 한국에 가본 적이 있습니까? Have you been to South Korea? So, if you're not living in Seoul, but if someone thought that like, you're very interested in Korean culture and language, they will ask you this question. 한국에 가본 적이 있습니까? Have you been to South Korea? If you have, you can say, 네, 있습니다. Yes, I have. Or you can say, 아니요, 없습니다. No, I haven't. 화장실은 어디에 있습니까? Where is the bathroom? So, 화장실 is the word meaning bathroom. So, um, you can actually ask anything with this question pattern. For example, 슈퍼마켓은 어디에 있습니까? Where is the supermarket? And 지하철은 어디에 있습니까? Meaning, where is the subway station? Okay, that's all top 15 questions you should know in Korean. I hope you like it. Um, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. The, 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 the. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 셔츠 shirt 셔츠 셔츠 shirt 장롱에 셔츠가 열벌 있습니다. There are 10 shirts in the closet. 장롱에 셔츠가 열벌 있습니다. 바지 pants 바지 바지 pants 당신의 바지는 제 것보다 커요. Your pants are bigger than mine. 당신의 바지는 제 것보다 커요. 드레스 dress 드레스 드레스 dress 그 드레스 안산게 후회돼. I regret not buying that dress. 그 드레스 안산게 후회돼. 말하다 say 말하다 말하다 say 나도 지금 그렇게 말하려고 했는데 
I was just going to say that. 나도 지금 그렇게 말하려고 했는데. 전화하다. Call. 전화하다. 전화하다. Call. 내일 오전에 전화해 주세요. Please give me a call tomorrow morning. 내일 오전에 전화해 주세요. 찾다. Find. 찾다. 찾다. Find. 핸드폰 어떻게 찾았어요? How did you find the cell phone? 핸드폰 어떻게 찾았어요? 깨끗한 clean 깨끗한 깨끗한 clean 깨끗한 환경을 지향합니다. We aim for a clean environment. 깨끗한 환경을 지향합니다. 더러운 dirty 더러운 더러운 dirty 더러운 셔츠들은 세탁기에 넣어 주시기 바랍니다. Put your dirty shirts into the washing machine, please. 더러운 셔츠들은 세탁기에 넣어 주시길 바랍니다. 당근 Carrot 당근 당근 Carrot 아이들은 당근을 싫어합니다. Kids do not like carrots. 아이들은 당근을 싫어합니다. 양파 onion 양파 양파 onion 양파를 넣고 볶으세요. Please put in the onion and stir fry it. 양파를 넣고 볶으세요. 상추 lettuce 상추 상추 lettuce 삼겹살을 먹을 때는 상추가 있어야 돼요. You have to have some lettuce when you eat 삼겹살. 삼겹살을 먹을 때는 상추가 있어야 돼요. 양 shrimp 양 양, ship. 양이 풀을 먹고 있다. The ship is eating the green grass. 양이 풀을 먹고 있다. 토끼, rabbit. 토끼. 토끼 rabbit 내 동생은 토끼띠에 태어났습니다. 
My younger brother was born in the year of the rabbit. 내 동생은 토끼띠에 태어났습니다. 물개 seal 물개 물개 seal 물개는 가장 차가운 지역에서 삽니다. Seals live in the coldest areas. 물개는 가장 차가운 지역에서 삽니다. 구름 cloud 구름 구름 cloud 오늘은 구름이 하나도 안 보이네요. I cannot see any cloud today. 오늘은 구름이 하나도 안 보이네요. 화창한 sunny 화창한, 화창한, sunny. 나는 자주 화창한 날에 피크닉을 갑니다. I often go on a picnic on a sunny day. 나는 자주 화창한 날에 피크닉을 갑니다. 비가 오는 rainy 비가 오는 비가 오는 rainy 이번 토요일에 비가 올 거예요. It will be rainy this Saturday. 이번 토요일에 비가 올 거예요. 아기 baby 아기 아기 baby 아기가 태어났습니다. A baby was born. 아기가 태어났습니다. 여자 girl 여자 여자 girl 그 여자 아이들은 고등학생입니다. The girls are high school students. 그 여자 아이들은 고등학생입니다. 남자아이 boy 남자아이 남자아이 boy 남자아이는 그 영화를 좋아했어요. The boy liked the movie. 남자 아이들은 그 영화를 좋아했어요. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jae Hui. In this video, we will see top 15 favorite words chosen by fans. 귀염둥이, darling. So for example, he might say, 귀염둥이 오늘은 뭐 했어? Which means, oh, darling, what did you do today? When Korean people call their boy or girlfriend, they often use nicknames such as 귀염둥이, which means darling, cutie.
So if you are adult, you can say that, but um, it's up to you. <laughs> 뚝배기 불고기, clay pot 불고기. So 불고기 is grilled marinated beef, uh, which you can find very easily in Korea. It's not spicy, um, it's sweet. So in the case, I can say 저는 뚝배기 불고기를 불고기 중에서 가장 좋아합니다. Which means I like the clay pot 불고기 the most among all other types of 불고기. So when it's in the um, hot pot, it's so like hot. So you have to be careful when you eat it because you might burn your tongue if you just eat many of the 불고기 at the same time. 마음에 들다, like. 마음에 들다, like. So 마음 means heart. Um, and 들다 means to enter, to go into. So if you say 그 사람이 마음에 들다, that literally means that he comes into my heart. That's so lovely, right? So you can use this phrase when you want to say I like someone as a possible girlfriend or boyfriend. So you cannot say that 불고기가 마음에 들다 um, to mean I like 불고기 because you never want to be a girlfriend or boyfriend with 불고기. 좋아, like. So 좋아 um, is the verb meaning to like in general. So you can use it with anything. You can say, I like kimchi, kimchi ga joa. I like you, no ga joa. So anything, you can just say the object that you like and say 좋아 to say I like something. So for that reason, um, you can find the button 좋아요 on Facebook, which means like. 먹자, let's eat. 먹자, let's eat. In Korea, you might hear um, this phrase a lot, like almost every day, like people will come to your desk and say something, something, 먹자, let's eat something. So Korean people prefer having a big group lunch instead of having it alone. So before the lunch hour, we usually ask the other person like, um, 김치 찌개 먹자, let's eat kimchi soup, or 김밥 먹자, let's eat seaweed rolls, or something like that. Or when you have your dish on the table, um, you can say, 먹자, and then you can start eating it. 배고파, hungry. 배고파, hungry. So 배 means stomach, 고파 is kind of feeling hungry, feeling empty. So it literally means I feel empty in my stomach. When you feel really hungry, you can simply just say, 아, 배고파. Or in formal situation, you can say, 아, 배고파요. 봄비, spring rain. 봄비, spring rain. Yeah, people actually like this a lot, like when it's raining in spring, there'll be a lot of flowers around. It's kind of making you feel more romantic. So there are also many songs about Pompi, spring rain, like when there's a spring rain, love comes to me or something like that. If you are becoming more romantic, you might want to say, 봄비가 오면 연애를 하고 싶어집니다. Which means, when there's a spring rain, I want to date someone. 사랑해요, I love you. 사랑해요, I love you. Practice it now so that you can use it at the right timing. So simply you can just say 사랑해요 to say I love you or more casually 사랑해 to say I love you. 시끄러워, noisy. 시끄러워, noisy. 시끄러워! <laughs> so let's say you're studying at a library and someone is making some noise. And then you hear that, then you can say 시끄러워. Like to yourself, saying it's noisy. 안녕하세요, hello. So this is a very common phrase to say hello for the greeting. Um, so when you meet someone, you can simply say 안녕하세요. If you want to be a little bit more casual, you can say 안녕. 어떻게, what am I going to do? 어떻게, what am I going to do? I like this phrase a lot because, you know, um, when I don't know what to do, I just simply say that a lot. When you're talking to yourself, you can say, Ah, 어떡해, 어떡하지? 어떡해, 어떡하지? What should I do? What am I going to do? 예뻐요, pretty. 예뻐요, pretty. So 예뻐요 can be used only when you talk about women, girls. And um, when you see someone for the first time and you feel like she is pretty, you can also say, Ah, 예뻐요, 예쁘세요, which means you are pretty, you are beautiful. And also you can talk about other clothes or object with this one, 예뻐요. 자기야, sweetie. 자기야, sweetie. So if I have to choose 귀염둥이 and 자기야, I'll go with 자기야, because 자기야 can be used in almost all the generations. It's okay to say that in public. 귀염둥이 might be a little bit 
음, but 자기야, should be okay. 자기야, 오늘 김치찌개 먹자. Which means, sweetie, let's have some kimchi soup. 자기야, 오늘 뭐 하고 싶어? Which means, sweetie, what do you want to do today? 진짜? Real? Really? So, 진짜 is the adverb meaning real, uh, but we use it alone to mean really. So, when we hear something a little bit surprising, we say 진짜? Really? Even if something is not surprising, we also say that a lot. So, you just say that, I went to movie theater yesterday, and I will just say 진짜? Really? It doesn't mean that I don't trust you. It's just like common reaction. Um, to show that I'm interested in the topic. 배불러, I'm full. We eat a lot. Um, I eat a lot too. <laughs> so I often use that after I have a dinner. I say, ah, 배불러. 배 means stomach. 불러 means to be full. So it literally means my stomach is full. So you can say, ah, 배불러서 더 이상 못 걷겠어. Which means I cannot work anymore because I feel full. So that's all top 15 favorite words chosen by fans. Uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui. Welcome back to Korean Top Words. In this video, we'll be talking about 10 ways to say hello. Let's begin. 좋은 아침이에요. Good morning. 좋은 아침이에요. Good morning. 좋은 means good and 아침 means morning. I don't think Korean people in the past used that kind of phrase because it's really a little translation of good morning, but these days people use it quite often, especially in the morning. I think some people say 안녕하세요 to mean hello, or some people might say 좋은 아침이에요. Good morning. 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. Hello. This is the most common phrase to say hello. 안녕 means something like being in peace. So it literally means something like are you in peace? If you have to remember just one thing among 10 expressions that we'll introduce in this video, um, this is the one that you have to remember. 안녕하세요. Hello. You can also say something else after saying 안녕하세요. For example, if it is in the morning, you can say 안녕하세요. 좋은 아침이에요. Hello, good morning. Hello, it's a good morning. 오랜만이에요. Long time no see. 오랜만이에요. Long time no see. 오랜만 means something like for a while. It literally means something like it's been a while. 어떻게 지내요? How are you? 어떻게 지내요? How are you? Um, unlike English expression, how are you? It's not a good idea to say to someone you see every day because it literally means something like how you've lived, like how you have spent your days. So just use that when you haven't seen someone for a while, like at least for a week. 잘 돼가요? How is it going? 잘 돼가요? How is it going? Um, if you know that your friend or someone else has been doing something for a while, you can say that 잘 돼가요. Like for example, if your friend has a big project and you know that person is keep doing it, you can say that 잘 돼가요. How is it going? 잘 지내? What's up? 잘 지내? What's up? So this can be used only between friends, but only when you haven't seen your friend for a while. So if you haven't seen your friend for a week, but you just saw your friend in a campus, you can say that 잘 지내? What's up? Or if you just, you know, see someone every day, you can just say 안녕, which means hello. That covers all different types of the um, English expressions to say hello. 안녕하세요. Good afternoon. 안녕하세요. Good afternoon. For good morning, we have the expression 좋은 아침이에요, which means the same, but for good afternoon, we haven't made the expression yet. So you just have to say 안녕하세요 if it is in the afternoon. Or the other common expression is 밥 먹었어요. Like it literally means did you eat or rice? But it's got very common expression that people exchange in the afternoon, especially after the lunch hour. It doesn't mean like I really want to know if you eat something or not. It's just like, you know, hello. 
So if someone asks you, 밥 먹었어요? Then you can just say, 네 먹었어요, and then talk about something else, which means, yes, I ate, and then you can talk about something else. 안녕하세요. Good evening. 안녕하세요. Good evening. Um, we have a same expression for good evening because there is no um, expression yet, only for the evening. Some people might say 좋은 저녁이에요, but it does not sound good, natural in Korean. Um, instead, if it is in the evening, people might say 먼저 가겠습니다. I'll leave first if, you know, it's at the office or um, 내일 봐, see you tomorrow, um, if it's between friends. So, you know, pick the right expression depending on the situation. 반가워요. It's nice to meet you. 반가워요. It's nice to meet you. Um, yeah, if you see someone for the very first time, you can say that 반가워요. Um, for formal situation, you can say 반갑습니다. 요즘 별일 없죠? How is everything? 요즘 별일 없지? How is everything? So 별일 here means something special. Like it, so it really means um, you don't have anything special, right? So to answer this question, you can say 음, 별일 없어, which means that there's nothing special. Okay, we just checked out 10 ways to say hello in Korean. Which expression do you like the most? Let us know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Do you know how to count bags of rice? You'll find out at the end of this lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Alicia. 안녕하세요, 노경진입니다. Welcome to Korean Counters for Beginners, where you'll learn how to count all sorts of different objects in Korean. Sung Se-nim, what counter will we learn in this lesson? Okay. First, let's take a look at what sorts of objects can be counted with this counter. When counting inanimate objects in general, you can use this counter. K. This counter can be translated as thing in English. Although it's better to use the specific counters that we're going to learn in the following lessons, you can use this counter for any inanimate object in general. For example, you can count apples with this counter as well as pens. When you're not sure which counters to use for inanimate objects, you can simply use this one, but you can't use it when you're counting animate objects, such as dogs or people. Okay, let's count from 1 to 10 with this counter. Son Seng Nim will give you the numbers one by one. Repeat after her. 한 개, 두 개, 세 개, 네 개, 다섯 개, 여섯 개, 일곱 개, 여덟 개, 아홉 개, 열 개. Did you notice that the counter sounded different when she read it for the numbers 5 to 10? Those numbers have the bat chim, or the final consonant in a Korean syllable, so it makes the counters sound stronger, a process that is called fortis. Let's hear them once again. 다섯 개, 낫 다섯 개, 여섯 개, 낫 여섯 개. 일곱 개, 낫 일곱 개, 여덟 개, 낫 여덟 개, 아홉 개, 낫 아홉 개, 열 개, 낫 
열 개. Okay, now let's take a look at some sample sentences using this counter. 사과 세 개를 살 겁니다. I'll buy three apples. 펜 다섯 개 주세요. Can you give me five pens, please? 건물이 열개 있습니다. There are ten buildings. Now it's time for a quiz. I'm going to ask you a question in English. Please answer in Korean. Are you ready? Make sure to use the right counter. How many umbrellas are there? How many computers do you have? Do you know the special counter for bags of rice? Rice is the main ingredient in Korean dishes, so it has a special counter just for the bags. The answer is... You need to use this counter to specify how many bags of rice. If you say, 쌀한 가마 주세요, it means, please give me one bag of rice. When you count a grain of rice, you can use the counter 톨 instead. Okay, everyone, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you next time. Hi, everyone, I'm Jehui. In this video, you will see top 15 questions you should know. Okay, let's look at the questions. 몇 살이세요? How old are you? So it's very common to ask someone's age in Korea, so don't be surprised if someone whom you just met for the first time asks you this question. 몇 살이세요? 몇 살이세요? 스무 살이요. So you can basically say number and say 살이에요. 스무 살이에요. 서른 살이에요. And if you don't want to answer the question, you can say 몰라도 돼요. It's okay if you don't know. 뭐라고 했어요? What did you say? There are two cases. Let's see the first one. 그런데요, 뭐 했어요? 계세요? 뭐라고 했어요? You didn't understand what the other people say, so you can just simply say 뭐라고 했어요? to ask what did you say? But there's another case. Let's see. 옷이 그게 뭐예요? 별로 예쁘지도 않고. 뭐라고 했어요? This case, you know, someone was talking something bad about you, so you upset, and you can say what did you say? 뭐라고 했어요? to, you know, start your fight. 생일이 언제예요? When is your birthday? So it's also common to ask someone's birthday and Korean people are very good at remembering someone's birthday and celebrating for them. For example, 생일이 언제예요? 음, 5월 3일이에요. Sometimes people will say 음력 5월 3일이에요. 음력 means lunar calendar because some people have the birthday in the lunar calendar, not the solar calendar. In this case, their um, date of birthday will be changed every year. 어디 출신이세요? Where are you from? So in that case, if you're from the US, you can say 미국 출신이에요. Or you can just simply say uh, 미국 사람이에요. I'm American. Or uh, 프랑스 사람이에요. I'm French. 어디 출신이에요? 미국 출신이에요. Or something like that. 어디에 사십니까? Where do you live? So if someone asks you, 어디에 사십니까? 음, 신촌에 살아요. So they said, like, where do you live? And the other said, I live in Shincheon. So you can simply say, 에 살아요, 신촌에 살아요, 홍대에 살아요, to say that you live in the specific area. I love where I used to live, which is Hodemun, the center of the city. 어디에서 일해요? Where do you work? Even though you met someone for the first time, you might be asked, you know, 어디에서 일해요? 무슨 회사에서 일해요? Where do you work? Which company do you work? And sometimes, plus, you might hear 연봉이 얼마예요? What is your annual salary? How much do you make for every year? or Something like that. So be ready for that. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? So if you haven't seen someone for a long time, you can ask something like 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? Usually the common answers will be 아, 잘 지내요. I'm doing well. 그냥요. 음, so so. Or if you want to be really honest, you can say 잘못 지내요. I'm not doing well. 이거 뭐예요? What's this? I might just ask you 이게 뭐예요? Like when I'm invited to a dinner, um, then if I see someone that I haven't tried yet in my life, then I can just simply say 이거 뭐예요? What's this? And you can just simply say 
이거 something something 이에요 like 이거 이탈리아 음식이에요 this is Italian food or something like that what's this? 이게 뭐예요? 이게 뭐예요? what do you think it is? 이게 뭐예요? 이름이 뭐예요? what's your name? you can simply just give your full name or just first name if someone asks you 이름이 뭐예요? what's your name? for example, if someone asks me 이름이 뭐예요? then I'll say 이재희입니다 using my full name so it's kind of sounding rude if you just give your first name only actually but if you have the name in English or name in non-Korean uh, words I think that's okay to also give you only the first name because it's easier to remember 전화번호가 뭐예요? what's your phone number? that might be a, a little bit more personal question we might ask someone's ID of some messenger program like KakaoTalk or LINE um, but we usually don't ask someone's telephone number but if you are asked because for official purpose or something like that then you can just give the you know number with the area code 전화번호가 뭐예요? 아, 023552입니다 so usually Korean numbers have two or three digits and four four and you can just make some pause between 02-1234-5678 make sure you make the pause so that they can get it easily 한국 음식을 좋아합니까? do you like Korean food? yeah that would be one of the common questions that you hear if you're not Korean for sure you have to say 네 좋아합니다 yes I like it even though you don't like some part of like you don't like spicy ones in general um, I recommend you to say 네 좋아합니다 I like it but if you want to be real honest you can say 별로요 it's also or 아니요 별로 안 좋아합니다 no I don't like it 한국어를 공부한 지 얼마나 됐어요? How long have you been studying Korean? So in that case, you can just give how many months, how many years you've been studying Korean. For example, if it's for one year, you can say 1년이요, 3 years, 3년이요. Or if you just started, you can say 얼마 안 됐어요. It has not been that long. Or uh, 최근이요, recently. So let me ask you, 한국어를 공부한 지 얼마나 됐어요? 아... 힘내세요. 한국어를 어디서 배웠습니까? Where did you learn Korean? If you get this question, that means that your Korean is very good. Uh, when people are very impressed you Korean, um, they will just ask you where you learn it. 한국어를 어디서 배웠습니까? So you can just give the answer. For example, 어학원에서 배웠어요. I learned it from a language school. 어학원 is the word for a language school. Or you can say, 혼자서 배웠어요. I studied alone. So let me ask you the question. 한국어를 어디서 배웠어요? 아, koreanclass101.com이요? 감사합니다. 한국에 가본 적이 있습니까? Have you been to South Korea? So if you're not living in Seoul, but if someone thought that like you're very interested in Korean culture and language, they will ask you this question. 한국에 가본 적이 있습니까? Have you been to South Korea? If you have, you can say 네 있습니다. Yes, I have. Or you can say 아니요 없습니다. No, I haven't. 화장실은 어디에 있습니까? Where is the bathroom? So 화장실 is the word meaning bathroom. So um, you can actually ask anything with this question pattern. For example, 슈퍼마켓은 어디에 있습니까? Where is the supermarket? And 지하철은 어디에 있습니까? Meaning where is the subway station? Okay, that's all top 15 questions you should know in Korean. I hope you like it. Uh, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. The, 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 the. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. 
Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is... 셔츠 shirt 셔츠 셔츠 shirt 장롱에 셔츠가 열벌 있습니다. There are ten shirts in the closet. 장롱에 셔츠가 열벌 있습니다. 바지 pants 바지 바지 pants 당신의 바지는 제 것보다 커요. Your pants are bigger than mine. 당신의 바지는 제 것보다 커요. 드레스 dress 드레스 드레스 dress 그 드레스 안산게 후회돼. I regret not buying that dress. 그 드레스 안산게 후회돼. 말하다 say 말하다 말하다 say 나도 지금 그렇게 말하려고 했는데 I was just going to say that 나도 지금 그렇게 말하려고 했는데 전화하다 call 전화하다 전화하다 call 내일 오전에 전화해 주세요. Please give me a call tomorrow morning. 내일 오전에 전화해 주세요. 찾다 find 찾다 찾다 find 핸드폰 어떻게 찾았어요? How did you find the cell phone? 핸드폰 어떻게 찾았어요? 깨끗한 clean 깨끗한 깨끗한 clean 깨끗한 환경을 지향합니다. We aim for a clean environment. 깨끗한 환경을 지향합니다. 더러운 dirty 더러운 더러운 dirty 더러운 셔츠들은 세탁기에 넣어 주시기 바랍니다. Put your dirty shirts into the washing machine please. 더러운 셔츠들은 세탁기에 넣어 주시길 바랍니다. 당근 K 
carrot, tankun, tankun, carrot. 아이들은 당근을 싫어합니다. Kids do not like carrots. 아이들은 당근을 싫어합니다. 양파 onion 양파 양파 onion 양파를 넣고 볶으세요. Please put in the onion and stir fry it. 양파를 넣고 볶으세요. 상추 lettuce 상추 상추 lettuce 삼겹살을 먹을 때는 상추가 있어야 돼요. You have to have some lettuce when you eat 삼겹살. 삼겹살을 먹을 때는 상추가 있어야 돼요. 양 shrimp 양 양, ship. 양이 풀을 먹고 있다. The ship is eating the green grass. 양이 풀을 먹고 있다. 토끼, rabbit. 토끼. 토끼 rabbit 내 동생은 토끼띠에 태어났습니다. My younger brother was born in the ear of the rabbit. 내 동생은 토끼띠에 태어났습니다. 물개 seal 물개, 물개, seal. 물개는 가장 차가운 지역에서 삽니다. Seals live in the coldest areas. 물개는 가장 차가운 지역에서 삽니다. 구름 cloud 구름 구름 cloud 오늘은 구름이 하나도 안 보이네요. I cannot see any cloud today. 오늘은 구름이 하나도 안 보이네요. 화창한 sunny 화창한 화창한 sunny 나는 자주 화창한 날에 피크닉을 갑니다. I often go on a picnic on a sunny day. 나는 자주 화창한 날에 피크닉을 갑니다. 비가 오는 rainy 비가 오는 비가 오는 rainy 이번 토요일에 비가 올 거예요. It will be rainy this Saturday. 이번 토요일에 비가 올 거예요. 아기 
baby, 阿 k 阿 k baby, 아기가태어났습니다 A baby was born. 아기가태어났습니다여자 girl. 여자여자 girl. 그여자아이들은고등학생입니다 The girls are high school students. 그여자아이들은고등학생입니다남자아이 boy. 남자아이남자아이 boy. 남자아이는그영화를좋아했어요 The boy liked the movie. 남자아이들은그영화를좋아했어요 Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at KoreanClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. 잘가요 Hi everyone, I'm Jae Hui. In this video, we will see top 15 favorite words chosen by fans. 귀염둥이 darling. So, for example, he might say, 귀염둥이오늘은뭐했어 Which means, oh, darling, what did you do today? When Korean people call their boy or girlfriend, they often use nicknames such as 귀염둥이 which means, darling, cutie. So, if you are an adult, you can say that, but um, it's up to you. <laughs> 뚝배기불고기 clay pot 불고기 so, 불고기 is grilled marinated beef, uh, which you can find very easily in Korea. It's not spicy, um, it's sweet. So, in that case, I can say, 저는뚝배기불고기를불고기중에서가장좋아합니다 Which means I like the clay pot 불고기 the most among all other types of 불고기 So, when it's in the um, hot pot, it's so like hot. So, you have to be careful when you eat it because you might burn your tongue if you just eat. Many of the will go get at the same time. 마음에들다 like. 마음에들다 like. So 마음 means heart, um, and 들다 means to enter, to go into. So if you say 그사람이마음에들다 that literally means that he comes into my heart. That's so lovely, right? So you can use this phrase when you want to say I like someone as a possible girlfriend or boyfriend. So you cannot say that 불고기가마음에들다 um, to mean I like 불고기 because you never want to be a girlfriend or boyfriend with 불고기좋아 like. So 좋아 um, is the verb meaning to like in general. So you can use it with anything. You can say I like kimchi, kimchi ga 좋아 I like you, 너가좋아 So anything. You can just say the object that you like and say 좋아 to say I like something. So for that reason, um, you can find the button 좋아요 on Facebook, which means like. 먹자 let's eat. 먹자 let's eat. In Korea, you might hear um, this phrase a lot, like almost every day. Like people will come to your desk and say something, something 먹자 let's eat something. So Korean people prefer having a big group lunch instead of having it alone. So before the lunch hour, we usually ask the other person like. Um, kimchi jjigae mokja. Let's eat kimchi soup, or kimbap mokja. Let's eat seaweed rolls, or something like that. Or when you have your dish on the table, um, you can say mokja, and then you can start eating it. Pegopa, hungry. Pegopa, hungry. So pe means stomach. Gopa is kind of feeling hungry, feeling empty. So it literally means I feel empty in my stomach. When you feel really hungry, you can simply just say ah, pegopa. 
or in formal situation, you can say, ah, 배고파요. 봄비, spring rain. 봄비, spring rain. Yeah, people actually like this a lot. Like when it's raining in spring, there will be a lot of flowers around. It's kind of making you feel more romantic. So there are also many songs about 봄비, spring rain. Like when there's a spring rain, love comes to me or something like that. If you are becoming more romantic, you might want to say 봄비가 오면 연애를 하고 싶어집니다. Which means when there's a spring rain, I want to date someone. 사랑해요, I love you. 사랑해요, I love you. Practice it now so that you can use it at the right timing. So simply you can just say 사랑해요. To say I love you, or more casually, 사랑해. To say I love you. 시끄러워, noisy. 시끄러워, noisy. 시끄러. <laughs> so let's say you're studying at a library and someone is making some noise. Then you hear that. Then you can say 시끄러워, like to yourself, saying it's noisy. 안녕하세요, hello. So this is a very common phrase to say hello for the greeting. Um, so when you meet someone, you can simply say 안녕하세요. If you want to be a little bit more casual, you can say 안녕. 어떻게? What am I going to do? 어떻게? What am I going to do? I like this phrase a lot because, you know, um, when I don't know what to do, I just simply say that a lot. When you're talking to yourself, you can say 아, 어떡해? 어떡하지? 어떡해? 어떡하지? What should I do? What am I going to do? 예뻐요. Pretty. 예뻐요. Pretty. So 예뻐요 can be used only when you talk about women, girls. And um, when you see someone for the first time and you feel like she is pretty, you can also say 아, 예뻐요. 예쁘세요. Which means you are pretty. You are beautiful. And also you can talk about other clothes or object with this one. 예뻐요. 자기야. Sweetie, 자기야, sweetie. So if I have to choose 귀염둥이 and 자기야, I'll go with 자기야 because 자기야 can be used in almost all the generations. It's okay to say that in public. 귀염둥이 might be a little bit... Mm, <laughs> but 자기야 should be okay. 자기야, 오늘 김치찌개 먹자. Which means, sweetie, let's have some kimchi soup. 자기야, 오늘 뭐 하고 싶어? Which means, sweetie, what do you want to do today? 진짜, real, really. So, 진짜 is the adverb meaning real, uh, but we use it alone to mean really. So, when we hear something a little bit surprising, we say 진짜, really. Even if something is not surprising, we also say that a lot. So, you just say that I went to movie theater yesterday and I will just say 진짜, really. It doesn't mean that I don't trust you, it's just like common reaction. Um, to show that I'm interested in the topic. 배불러, I'm full. We eat a lot. Um, I eat a lot too. <laughs> so I often use that after I have a dinner. I say, ah, 배불러. 배 means stomach. 불러 means to be full. So it literally means my stomach is full. So you can say, ah, 배불러서 더 이상은 못 걷겠어. Which means I cannot work anymore because I feel full. So that's all top 15 favorite words chosen by fans. Uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. Hi everybody, I'm Jae Hee from koreanclass11.com. Do you know how to say I love you in Korean? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say I love you and a special phrase for Valentine's Day. Let's start with the most common phrase, 사랑해요. 사랑해요. I love you. This phrase is direct. You should use it only when you're confessing your love. If you want to be less direct, you can use this phrase. 당신은 나에게 무척 소중해요. 당신은 나에게 무척 소중해요. It means you mean so much to me. Now, if you want to be more romantic in expressing your love for someone, you can say this phrase. 
말로는 내 사랑을 설명할 수 없습니다. 말로는 내 사랑을 설명할 수 없습니다. It means words can't describe my love for you. Now you know three different ways to say I love you in Korean. And here's one more. What if you want to spend Valentine's Day with someone special? In that case, say this phrase. Valentine Day 같이 보낼래요? Will you be my Valentine? Or literally, do you want to spend Valentine's Day together? Valentine Day 같이 보낼래요? Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. I love you. 사랑해요. 사랑해요. You mean so much to me. 당신은 나에게 무척 소중해요. Words can describe my love for you. 말로는 내 사랑을 설명할 수 없습니다. Will you be my Valentine? Valentine Day 같이 보낼래요? Valentine Day 같이 보낼래요? Well done. Did you know that on a Valentine's Day, some theaters in Korea set up a kiss time in the middle of the performance or showing? Kiss time is when the lights are turned off in the middle of the performance without any notice so that couples can kiss. Korean couples prefer having a private kiss time than kissing openly in public places. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Korean and one special phrase for Valentine's Day. And if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to download your free Romance and Love Cheat Sheet, which includes romantic words, compliments, and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to koreanclass101.com now. I will see you next time. 안녕히 계세요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. This banana is really sweet. This banana is really sweet. This banana is really sweet. Apple. 사과, 사과, apple. 사과를 깎고 있어요. I'm peeling an apple. 사과를 깎고 있어요. 포도, grape. 포도. 
포도 grape 어떤 사람들은 포도를 껍질 채 먹습니다. Some people eat grapes unpeeled. 어떤 사람들은 포도를 껍질 채 먹습니다. 수박 watermelon 수박 수박 watermelon 여름에는 수박이 최고예요. In summer, watermelons are the best. 여름에는 수박이 최고예요. 새 bird 새새 새. 새가 훨훨 날아가 버렸어요. The bird has gone flapping away. 새가 훨훨 날아가 버렸어요. G mouse G G mouse 쥐가 포도를 먹고 있다. The mouse is eating a grape. 쥐가 포도를 먹고 있다. he sun he he Sun. 여름에는 해가 일찍 떠요. The sun rises earlier in the summer. 여름에는 해가 일찍 떠요. 날씨. Weather. 날씨. 날씨. Weather. 날씨가 이상해요. The weather is weird. 날씨가 이상해요. 도. Degree. 도. 도. Degree. 밖은 겨우 1도다. It is barely one degree outside. 밖은 겨우 1도다. 여자 woman 여자 여자 woman 미키 씨는 여자입니다. Miki is a woman. Miki 씨는 여자입니다. 남자 man. 남자 남자 man. 그 남자는 50대 정도로 보였어요. A man appeared to be in his fifties. 그 남자는 50대 정도로 보였어요. 여자친구 girlfriend 여자친구 여자친구 girlfriend 여자친구가 무서운 장면에서 얼굴을 돌렸다. My girlfriend hid her face from the scary scene. 여자친구가 무서운 장면에서 얼굴을 돌렸다. 
남자친구 boyfriend 남자친구 남자친구 boyfriend 남자친구 사귀었어? Did you get a boyfriend? 남자친구 사귀었어? 기차 train 기차 기차 train 그는 모자를 기차에 두고 내렸다. He forgot his cap on the train. 그는 모자를 기차에 두고 내렸다. 비행기 airplane 비행기 비행기 airplane 그는 비행기 타는 것을 좋아해요. He likes flying by airplane. 그는 비행기 타는 것을 좋아해요. 버스 bus 버스 버스 bus 그는 버스를 탑니다. He rides the bus. 그는 버스를 탑니다. 택시 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 택시에 탄 다음에 전화 주세요. Give me a call after you get in the taxi. 택시에 탄 다음에 전화 주세요. 시금치 spinach 시금치 시금치 spinach 시금치 천원 어치 주세요. Please give me thousand won worth of spinach. 시금치 천원 어치 주세요. 돌고래 dolphin 돌고래 돌고래 dolphin 2시에 돌고래 쇼가 있대요. They say that there is a dolphin show at 2 o'clock. 2시에 돌고래 쇼가 있대요. 오징어 squid 오징어 오징어 squid 햇볕에 오징어를 건조시킵니다. Let's dry squid out in the sun. 햇볕에 오징어를 건조시킵니다. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! How are your Korean listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. 남자와 여자가 레스토랑에서 메뉴를 보고 있습니다. 남자는 무엇을 주문했습니까? 무엇을 주문할 거예요? 이 피자 맛있어 보여요. 이걸로 할게요. 전 어제 피자를 먹어서. 그럼 이 햄버거는 어때요? 좋아요. 그걸로 할게요. 남자는 무엇을 주문했습니까? 
남자와 여자가 레스토랑에서 메뉴를 보고 있습니다. 남자는 무엇을 주문했습니까? 무엇을 주문할 거예요? 이 피자 맛있어 보여요. 이걸로 할게요. 전 어제 피자를 먹어서... 그럼 이 햄버거는 어때요? 좋아요. 그걸로 할게요. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean nouns. Okay, let's see what we have first. Cup, a thing or an object. So when you're doing some shopping, you like something that you like, that you don't like, then you can say, 저는 이것이 좋아요, but 저는 저것이 싫어요. I don't like this, I don't like that. Su, way, method, number. It has three different meaning, method, way, numbers. For example, 사람 수가 많이 있다. In that case, su means number. And if you're in a big trouble and you don't know what to do, you can also say 수가 없다. 나, I. So this is the informal way to say I as a pronoun. So you can say 나는 나야. <laughs> I myself. <laughs> 나는 김치가 좋아. 나는 한국이 좋아. 나는 한국 사람이 좋아. Can be a good examples. But when you talk with someone older than you, you cannot say 나. Instead, you have to say 저, which is formal version to say I. 사람, person. When you talk about a person, don't use God because God is for a thing. So you cannot say 이것이 좋아 when you talk about someone you love. Uh, instead, you can say 이 사람이 좋아. 사람 means person. 우리, we or our. It literally means our or we, but even if it's only about myself talking about my country, then I will say 우리나라 meaning our country. Even though you are not Korean, I'll just say our country, 우리나라, when talking about Korea. Even with your friend, you can say 우리 가족, literally meaning our family, even though you want to mean my family. The way to improve your Korean first is to use 우리 more often. 그, he, that. We usually don't use 그 or he, 그녀, she, when we make sentences because it doesn't sound natural to use a specific pronoun about the person. So when you hear 그, you can just think that it's about that, that person, 거, thing. This is a little bit casual way to say 것, which also means thing. 그거 주세요, 저거 주세요, 이거 싫어요, 저거 좋아요. When you talk with a friend, you just use 거, not 것. 년, ear. So when you talk about year in Korean, you have to use this noun after numbers. For example, 2001년, the year of 2001. You cannot simply say 2001. So with the word, you can say, 저는 3년 전에 서울에 왔습니다, which means I came to Seoul three years ago. 한, one or single. So when you want to talk about one something, like one place, one person, you can use this word with the other noun. For example, 한 사람, one person, 한 곳, a place. 말, words. When you talk about Korean, you can say 한국어, um, but also you can say 한국말, which literally means Korean words. So when you want to say I learn Korean, you can say both 한국어를 공부합니다 and 한국말을 공부합니다. And there's another word meaning horse with the same pronunciation, so make sure you understand it correctly. 일, work. So when Korean people want to ask you what is your job or what do you do, um, they will say 무슨 일 하세요? So here, 일 was used to mean work. And also Korean people have a lot of work. Usually they work like more than 10 hours a day. They also have a lot of work to do. So in the case, I can say 저도 일이 많이 있어요. <laughs> She, honorific suffix to mean Mr., Miss, Mrs. So let's say you want to call someone who is not your friend but whom you know their name. In that case, you can simply say their name and put she. 
But make sure that you don't put family name there like you do in English. You have to put their first name. So my family name is E. So if you just call me Ishi using my family name and that honorific suffix, it sounds rude. So don't do that. You can just call me um, Jehuishi using my first name instead of family name. We have another suffix, nim, which is more formal than shi. So you can use it when you call your teacher, like saying 선생님, 일, day. It has the same pronunciation of the word meaning work. Usually you can use it when you read the date. For example, you can say 7월 2일 to mean July 2nd. Or you can also find this word in the word like 내일, meaning tomorrow, and say 내일 is well, which means tomorrow is good. 사회, society. Korean people talk a lot about politics, and in that case, we use 사회 a lot. So if someone is critical about the situation going around um, Korean society, he might say, 한국 사회에는 문제가 많이 있다. Or someone would say, 한국 사회는 살기 좋다. 그것, that thing. So it has two words that we learned earlier. 그, meaning that. 것, meaning thing. So for example, when you don't know how to read something in Korean, you can just say, 그것 어떻게 읽어요? 집, house, home. So if you're in Korea, you might hear some phrases like 우리 집에 놀러 와. So 집 literally means house, home. So even though you want to say my home, make sure to use the pronoun 우리 and say 우리 집. 문제, problem. For example, like when you take a test and the questions are so difficult, you can say 문제가 너무 어려워. 저, that. You can use this pronoun when you talk about something away from you. So when you do shopping and the item you want to have is far away from you, then you can say 저거 속, inside. So usually you can use it when you talk about something inside of something. For example, 가방 속에 뭐가 있어요? Meaning what's inside your bag. And there's another word meaning inside, which is 안, to mean the same. 대, place. For formal situation, we use 곧. But for casual, like informal, we use 대. For example, 먹을 때, placed it. 경우, case. To make you look more smart, you can use this word. For example, 이 경우, this case. 저 경우, that case. 중, center. So you can use this word when you want to say in the middle of something. For example, you can say 한국 음식 중에 뭐가 가장 좋아요? Uh, which literally means in the middle of Korean food, which one do you like the most? So usually it's used with a group of something. 자신, oneself. Unlike the English word oneself, like we usually use it when we give the advice. For example, 너 자신을 알라, which means you should know yourself. Usually we also use this word to mean confidence and say 자신 있다. One, Korean one. In Korean, you have to say won every time when you talk about money. For example, 2만 won, 2천 원. So when you want to exchange US dollar to won, you can just simply say 달러를 원으로 바꿔주세요. 사랑, love. In Korea, we usually try to be a little bit indirect when talking about love. So we usually use the phrase something like 사랑하는 사람, which means people who I love. So with the one, um, you can say 사랑해, I love you, or 사랑합니다, I love you formally. Okay, that's all top 25 Korean nouns that we have in this video. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. <laughs>몇 살이세요? How old are you? So it's very common to ask someone's age in Korea, so don't be surprised if someone whom you just met for the first time asks you this question. 몇 살이세요? 몇 살이세요? 스무 살이요. So you can basically say number and say 살이에요. 스무 살이에요, 서른 살이에요. And if you don't want to answer the question, you can say 몰라도 돼요. It's okay if you don't know. 뭐라고 했어요? 
What did you say? There are two cases. Let's see the first one. 그런데요, 뭐 했어요, 어떻게 했어요, 뭐라고 했어요? You didn't understand what the other people say, so you can just simply say 뭐라고 했어요 to ask what did you say? But there's another case. Let's see. 옷이 그게 뭐예요? 별로 예쁘지도 않고. 뭐라고 했어요? This case, you know, someone was talking something bad about you, so you upset, and you can say what did you say? 뭐라고 했어요? To, you know, start your fight. 생일이 언제예요? When is your birthday? So it's also common to ask someone's birthday, and Korean people are very good at remembering someone's birthday and celebrating for them. For example, 생일이 언제예요? 음, 5월 3일이에요. Sometimes people will say 음력 5월 3일이에요. 음력 means lunar calendar because some people have the birthday in the lunar calendar, not the solar calendar. In this case, their um, date of birthday will be changed every year. 어디 출신이세요? Where are you from? So in that case, if you're from the US, you can say 미국 출신이에요. Or you can just simply say uh, 미국 사람이에요. I'm American. Or uh, 프랑스 사람이에요. I'm French. 어디 출신이에요? 미국 출신이에요. Or something like that. 어디에 사십니까? Where do you live? So if someone asks you, 어디에 사십니까? 음, 신촌에 살아요. So they said, like, where do you live? And the other said, I live in Shincheon. So you can simply say, 에 살아요, 신촌에 살아요, 홍대에 살아요, to say that you live in this specific area. I love where I used to live, which is Hodemun, the center of the city. 어디에서 일해요? Where do you work? Even though you met someone for the first time, you might be asked, you know, 어디에서 일해요? 무슨 회사에서 일해요? Where do you work? Which company do you work? And sometimes, plus, you might hear 연봉이 얼마예요? What is your annual salary? How much do you make for every year? Or something like that. So be ready for that. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? So if you haven't seen someone for a long time, you can ask something like 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? Usually the common answers will be 아, 잘 지내요. I'm doing well. 그냥요. 음, so so. Or if you want to be really honest, you can say, 잘못 지내요. I'm not doing well. 이거 뭐예요? What's this? I might just ask you, 이게 뭐예요? Like when I'm invited to a dinner, um, then if I see someone that I haven't tried yet in my life, then I can just simply say, 이거 뭐예요? What's this? And you can just simply say, 이거 something something이에요. Like, 이거 이탈리아 음식이에요. This is Italian food or something like that. What's this? 이게 뭐예요? 이게 뭐예요? What do you think it is? 이게 뭐예요? 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? You can simply just give your full name or just first name if someone asks you 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? For example, if someone asks me 이름이 뭐예요? Then I'll say 이재희입니다 using my full name. So it's kind of sounding rude if you just give your first name only actually but if you have to name in english your name in non-korean uh, words i think that's okay to also give you only the first name because it's easier to remember 전화번호가 뭐예요? what's your phone number that might be a, a little bit more personal question we might ask someone's id of some messenger program like kakao talk or line um, but we usually don't ask someone's telephone number. But if you are asked because for official purpose or something like that, then you can just give the, you know, number with the area code. 전화번호가 뭐예요? 아, 02-3552입니다. So usually Korean numbers have two or three digits and four four. And you can just make some pause between 02 1234 Make sure you make the pause so that they can get it easily. 한국 음식을 좋아합니까? Do you like Korean food? Yeah, that would be one of the common questions that you hear if you're not Korean. For sure, you have to say, 네, 좋아합니다. Yes, I like it. Even though you don't like some part of, like, you don't like spicy ones, in general, um, I recommend you to say, 네, 좋아합니다. I like it. But if you want to be real honest, you can say, 별로요. It's also. Or, 아니요, 별로 안 좋아합니다. No, I don't like it. 한국어를 공부한 지 얼마나 됐어요? How long have you been studying Korean? 
So in that case, you can just give how many months, how many years you've been studying Korean. For example, if it is for one year, you can say 1 년이요, three years, 3 년이요. Or if you just started, you can say 얼마 안 됐어요. It has not been that long. Or uh, 최근이요, recently. So let me ask you, 한국어를 공부한 지 얼마나 됐어요? 아, 힘내세요. 한국어를 어디서 배웠습니까? Where did you learn Korean? If you get this question, that means that your Korean is very good. Uh, when people are very impressed your Korean, um, they will just ask you where you learn it. 한국어를 어디서 배웠습니까? So you can just give the answer. For example, 어학원에서 배웠어요. I learn it from a language school. 어학원 is the word for a language school. Or you can say, 혼자서 배웠어요. I studied alone. So let me ask you the question. 한국어를 어디서 배웠어요? 아, koreanclass101.com이요? 감사합니다. 한국에 가본 적이 있습니까? Have you been to South Korea? So, if you're not living in Seoul, but if someone thought that like, you're very interested in Korean culture and language, they will ask you this question. 한국에 가본 적이 있습니까? Have you been to South Korea? If you have, you can say, 네, 있습니다. Yes, I have. Or you can say, 아니요, 없습니다. No, I haven't. 화장실은 어디에 있습니까? Where is the bathroom? So 화장실 is the word meaning bathroom. So um, you can actually ask anything with this question pattern. For example, 슈퍼마켓은 어디에 있습니까? Where is the supermarket? And 지하철은 어디에 있습니까? Meaning where is the subway station? Okay, that's all top 15 questions you should know in Korean. I hope you like it. Um, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. The, 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 the. Welcome to Korean Culture Class by koreanclass101.com. Hi everyone. I'm your teacher, Kejin. I'm so excited to share with you our lesson for today. We are going to talk about blood type personalities in Korea. Do you know why blood type A women shouldn't marry blood type B men in Korea? Though it's not scientifically proven, Koreans believe that each blood type has its own unique personality. If you have a Korean friend, you've probably been asked about your blood type. We do this to find our compatibility during blind dates or when we want to get to know someone better. In this video, I'll tell you more about the personalities of each blood type and their compatibility with each other, plus the blood types of Korean celebrities. So make sure you watch it until the end. Now, let's get started. Let's start with A형, which means blood type A. People with blood type A are known to be diplomatic and friendly. However, they are also sensitive and prefer to be alone rather than joining a group. This means they don't like being in crowded areas or parties. They are also fragile-hearted and get hurt easily. People with blood type A aren't very good at expressing themselves compared to other blood types such as type B and O. They are not snobs though, they just like to hide their feelings more. If you meet someone with blood type A, be patient. Because it's said that when they meet new people, it takes time for them to be comfortable and open themselves up more. As you slowly get to know them, you'll find how friendly and down-to-earth these people are. In addition to this, they're also known to be punctual and they always aim for the best result in everything they do. This is sometimes mistaken by people as perfectionism. In Korean, we describe the blood type A personality like this. 성실하다, to be earnest. 성실하다, 성실하다. 신중하다, to be cautious. 신중하다. 신중하다, 고집이 세다, to be stubborn, 예민하다, to be sensitive, 예민하다, 예민하다, 
Here's a simple sentence. A형은 성실하고 예민해요. People with type A blood are earnest and sensitive. A형은 성실하고 예민해요. A형은 성실하고 예민해요. Now, let's see the compatibility. Blood type A people get on well with type O followed by A. The worst match is with type B. Blood type A Korean celebrities are Nayeon from TWICE, Jungkook from BTS, Aerin from Red Velvet, Sanyeol from EXO. Now let's see Bihong, which means blood type B. According to the Korean blood type personality chart, blood type B people are independent, passionate about their dreams and aspirations, always like to stimulate their minds and love to express their opinion. They are sometimes perceived as self-centered because they don't seem to take other people's feelings into consideration. We usually believe that men with blood type B are playboys and don't know how to make their relationship last. But don't despair if you are a man with blood type B. Luckily, blood type B personalities are also known for being honest, curious, and loving to be at the center of attention. This means that finding a friend for type B is as easy as pie. In Korean, we describe blood type B personalities like this. 창의적이다. To be creative. 창의적이다. 창의적이다. 낙관적이다. To be optimistic. 낙관적이다. 낙관적이다. 이기적이다. To be selfish. 이기적이다. 이기적이다. 무책임하다. To be irresponsible. 무책임하다. 무책임하다. Here's a sample sentence. B형은 창의적이고 낙관적이에요. People with blood type B are creative and optimistic. B형은 창의적이고 낙관적이에요. B형은 창의적이고 낙관적이에요. Now, let's see the compatibility. Blood type B people get on well with type AB followed by O. The worst match is A. Blood type B Korean celebrities are Son Naeun from A Pink, Siu Min from EXO, Tap from Big Bang, Kang Seung Yoon from Winner. Next is O-hyung, which means blood type O. People with blood type O are known to be energetic, practical, and friendly. They are also known to be natural leaders and to express their opinions constructively. They are always in control of their emotions. Their personality may be strong, but deep inside, they are very sensitive. They aren't as expressive because they are afraid to be rejected and they hate themselves when they don't do things perfectly. In Korean, we describe blood type O personalities like this. 외향적이다. To be outgoing. 외향적이다. 외향적이다. 타고난 리더이다. To be a natural leader. 타고난 리더이다. 타고난 리더이다. 거만하다, to be arrogant. 거만하다, 거만하다. 질투심이 많다, to be jealous. 질투심이 많다, 질투심이 많다. Here's a sample sentence. 오형은 외향적이고 타고난 리더예요. People with type O are outgoing and natural leaders. 오형은 외향적이고 타고난 리더예요. 오형은 
외향적이고 타고난 리더예요. Now let's see the compatibility. Blood type O people get on well with type A followed by B. The worst match is AB. Blood type O Korean celebrities are Hwasa from Manamu, Jonghyun from Twice, Juhi from Momoland, Jackson from GOT7. And also, lots of Korean actors and actresses have blood type O. For example, Won Bin, Park Hyo Shin, Jang Dong Gon, Lee Min Jung, and Kim Yoo Jung. Now let's see AB Hyung, which means blood type AB. People with blood type AB are believed to be a genius or a psycho. They love to be spontaneous. You see them doing one thing now and then jump to another activity later on. Since this blood type is a mixture of type A and B, their mood changes really quick. They find it hard to control their emotions. All situations must be rational for a person with blood type AB. Their moody attitude, sometimes mistaken as being two-faced, makes it difficult for them to meet new friends. In Korean, we describe blood type AB personalities like this. 합리적이다, to be rational. 합리적이다, 합리적이다. 재능이 있다, to be talented. 재능이 있다, 재능이 있다. 비판적이다, to be critical. 비판적이다. 비판적이다. 별나다. To be eccentric. 별나다. 별나다. Here's a sample sentence. A형은 합리적이고 재능이 있어요. People with type AB are rational and talented. AB형은 합리적이고 재능이 있어요. AB형은 합리적이고 재능이 있어요. Now, let's see the compatibility. Blood type AB people get on well with the same type AB followed by B. The worst match is O. There are more celebrities with blood type AB. V from BTS, Chaeunu from Astro, Park Jin Young from JYP, Han Ga In, Taekyeon, Kim Soo Hyun, Park Bom. Now that you know about the blood type personalities, it's time to learn a few useful Korean sentences. If you want to know your friend's blood type, you can use this line. 혈액형이 뭐야? Which is the informal way to ask, what's your blood type? 혈액형이 뭐야? 혈액형이 뭐야? The polite way is, 혈액형이 뭐예요? 혈액형이 뭐예요? 혈액형이 뭐예요? The formal way is, 혈액형이 어떻게 되세요? 혈액형이 어떻게 되세요? 혈액형이 어떻게 되세요? Here's how to reply to that. Blood type name, 형이야. This is an informal way to say it. Blood type name, 형이야. Blood type name, 형이야. Blood type name, 형이에요. This is a standard form in which to say it. Blood type name, 형이에요. Blood type name, 형이에요. Blood type name, 형입니다. This is a formal way to say it. Blood type name, 형입니다. Blood type name, 형입니다. For example, 방탄소년단 RM의 혈액형은 뭐예요? What's the blood type of RM from BTS? 방탄소년단 RM의 혈액형은 뭐예요? 방탄소년단 RM의 혈액형은 뭐예요? 
오형이에요. It's O. 오형이에요. 오형이에요. Learning about blood type belief is so fun and interesting, right? KoreanClass101.com would like to help you learn a lot more this time about your own blood type and the Korean adjective that best describe your personality. You can download the vocabulary list we prepared for you, which is available online, as well as the ultimate K-pop group guide if you are into K-pop. You will be able to learn interesting facts about your favorite K-pop stars. You can download them all for free. That's it for today. I hope you learned a lot in today's lesson. If you are ever not sure or want to ask anything related to the Korean language, please don't hesitate to let us know and we'll help you out as best as we can. Until next time, 다음에 또 봐요! Hi! Welcome to Introduction to Korean. My name is Alicia and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm j e In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Korean writing. Similar to English, Korean also uses an alphabet. However, there is a big difference in the way Korean is written. Unlike the English alphabet, where each letter stands alone, Korean consonants and vowels are combined and grouped together into blocks. Each block represents one syllable. You can think of each block as a square which you need to fill in using consonants and vowels until you've created a syllable. Every block will require a minimum of one consonant and one vowel to create a syllable. Usually though, Korean syllables will consist of three parts, the initial, medial, and final. Initials are written at the top left of the block. Initials will always be consonants. Keep in mind though that this doesn't mean that syllables in Korean will always start with a consonant sound. It only means that vowels cannot be written in the initial position. A silent consonant could take this position, thus starting the syllable with a vowel sound. Medials, on the other hand, will always be a vowel. It could be a single vowel or a double vowel, in which case it'll have a gliding sound, sometimes perceived as a Y or a W sound. The most basic Korean block then would consist of a consonant-vowel combination. Ha. Ah. Sometimes a block may include a final. Finals are always consonants and are positioned below the vowel at the bottom of the syllabic block. This means that the initial medial final structure would be a combination of a consonant, a vowel or double vowel, and a consonant. Here's a useful phrase which includes various syllabic block structures we've just discussed. 반가워. As you can see, the first block contains the consonant vowel consonant format we just mentioned. 반. The second block is the basic consonant vowel format. The vowel is a vertical one, so the consonant is written on the left. 가. The third block contains a double vowel, so the structure is initial medial, with the initial being a consonant and the medial a double vowel. 워. Altogether, it's 반가워. There are three basic rules for writing Korean characters. They are written from left to right, top to bottom, and from outside to inside. This means that when you start writing a syllable in Korean, you start at the top left corner of the block. Start at the top left corner and work down to the bottom right. Usually, the topmost horizontal line would come first, followed by any vertical strokes. If the consonant starts with a vertical stroke, you would start from the top left and work your way down, followed by any horizontal strokes. Good. As the first consonant is a kyok, you would start from the top left and move toward the right for the first stroke, then move downward. With Korean vowels, similar rules apply. You go from left to right and top to bottom. Most vowels in Korean start with a vertical stroke, however, so you would usually work your way from top to bottom, then left to right. Ah. We said initials, or the consonant, were written first. So if you put these two characters together, ka, with a horizontal vowel, you would write the initial or consonant first, ku, followed by the vowel below, u, together, ku. If you had a final consonant, then the order would be han. And should the medial be a double vowel with both horizontal and vertical components, the horizontal vowel would be written first, followed by the vertical vowel to the right. Wall. 
There you have it. Now you know how to write Korean characters within a syllabic block. In this lesson, you learn the basic rules of Korean writing. You learn that Korean consonants and vowels are grouped together to form syllabic blocks. You learn that there are usually three parts to a syllable. The initial, which is always a consonant, a medial, which can be a vowel or a double vowel, and a final, which is always a consonant. And lastly, Korean characters are written from the top left to the bottom right. That's all for this lesson. If you'd like to learn more about Korean writing, check out our Hana Hana Hangul series. In the next lesson, you'll be entering Korean Boot Camp, where you'll learn useful beginner phrases to get you speaking Korean right away. See you in the next lesson. Bye! 다음에 또 만나요. Hi everybody, Jay here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of the most common Korean questions. The question for this lesson is, how do you pronounce the consonant liel? In Korean, the L and R sounds come from the same underlying consonant liel. If you put your tongue in between making an L and making an R, you are almost there. The question is, when does it sound more like R or more like L? If the consonant liel is between two vowels, then it will usually have the English R sound. However, if it is at the beginning or end of the word or precedes a consonant, it will have more of an English L sound. Let's break it down with some examples so you can clearly hear how to pronounce the consonant liel. Let's take the word radio, which means radio. In this word, the consonant liel is at the beginning of the word, so it will have an L sound. Let's do another example with the word 미래, meaning future. Here, the real consonant is between the vowels E and E, so it will have more of an R sound. Let's say it together, 미래. Let's do one more example with the L pronunciation. We will use the word 말, which means word or language. The real consonant is at the end of the word, so it will be pronounced as L. Let's say it together, 말. Remember that in English, some L sounds are hard, like the L's in ball. In ball, you put some tension in the back of your mouth to make it stronger. In Korean, the L sound is much lighter without any tension. So remembering where not to put the tension, especially at the end of the words, will be really helpful for sounding more natural in Korean. How was this lesson? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. 다음 시간에 만나요. Hi everyone, I'm Jehui. Welcome back to Korean Top Words. In this lesson, we are going to talk about 10 phrases to use when you are angry. Let's begin. 상관하지 마. It's none of your business. And honestly, like Korean people really like to give some advice, like even though they don't know things very well. So for example, if you worry about something a lot, then probably your friend might want to give you some advice which you don't want to listen to sometimes. So in that case, we can say 상관하지 마. It's none of your business. 닥쳐. Shut up. It's very strong, so I don't want you to say that often, but you know, sometimes when you have to say, you can say 닥쳐. Or, you know, sometimes we use it as a joke too. Like, when you, your friends are talking too much, you know, um, then you can say 닥쳐, shut up. But only probably to your friend who is a guy. 됐어, enough. Um, you know, when you have to make someone stop saying something because you feel very angry, you can say 됐어, enough which means I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk with you. Um, so 됐어 means, you know, um, that's the end, like, that's enough. 장난해? Are you kidding me? 장난 here means something like playing around. So, like uh, making a joke or kidding you. You know, when you really want to say something like, are you kidding me? You can say 장난해? Or sometimes we put 지금 and say 지금 장난해? Are you kidding me now? 뭐래? Whatever. Yeah, I think this is kind of magic word. Like, you know, when you just want to cut your interest about something, um, then you can just say 뭐래? Whatever. Like if someone is 
talking about some gossips, you know, about you, but you, you don't want to show your interest, you can just say that, more, whatever. 집어치워, cut it out. So, 집어치워, make me imagine something like you grab something and just throw it away. So, that kind of image, you know. So, if someone is talking about something, if someone is suggesting some idea that really doesn't make any sense and you think that's very useless like a garbage trash you can say the chibachio cut it out 너랑 얘기하고 싶지 않아 i don't want to talk to you yeah i think this is kind of the you know direct but acceptable way to say that you know i don't want to talk about something with you you know so i think yeah you can just use it when you just want to be alone and not talking about something um, else. 속상해. I'm upset. 속상해. Um, here we have the word 속, which means something like inside. And 상해 um, is the word that we often use to talk about some rotten apple, something got rotten. You know, something is not going well inside you, which can be translated as I'm upset. I feel so angry, like I feel disappointed. Something like, you know, that you feel uncomfortable. So, you know, when you had a very like bad event, like you argued with someone else or you just broke up with someone else, you can start your conversation by saying 속상해 when you, you know, talk to your friend in a different time. 그래서 뭐? So what? You can just use it as to just say so what because it just means the same. Uh, we often use it. 그래서 뭐? The other person is keep talking to you, but if you if it really doesn't make any sense, so you can say 그래서 뭐? So what? 네가 뭔데? Who do you think you are? I think each people has a different intonation when they say 네가 뭔데? Like um, I might say 네가 뭔데? Like you know because it's question, so I might wise it up. But some people might have a different intonation, like for example, 네가 뭔데? Like, you know, so you can, you can feel their anger when they say 네가 뭔데? Because it literally means what are you? But you can translate it as who do you think you are? Okay, that's all 10 phrases to use when you're angry. Which expression have you used before? If you use some of them, let us know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. Hi everyone, I'm Jehui from koreanclass101.com Do you know how to say thank you in Korean? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say thank you and how to respond. Let's start with the easiest one. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Simply say this phrase to say thank you. If you want to be more formal, you can use this phrase. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 감사합니다. It means thank you very much. When you want to say that you deeply appreciate someone or something, make sure to bow a bit or smile. That's the best way to demonstrate the highest level of gratitude. To sound like a pro, you can add a reason why you are thankful. For example, 와주셔서 대단히 감사합니다. Thank you very much for coming. What about between friends? Here's the way to say it. 고마워. 고마워. It means thanks. Now we know three different ways to say thank you in Korean. But how do you respond if someone thanks you? If someone thanks you in Korean, simply say 아니에요. It means not at all. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what you've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. Thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. The formal way to say thank you very much.
대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 감사합니다. The casual way to say thanks. 고마워. 고마워. And to respond, just say 아니에요. 아니에요. Well done. Don't be surprised if an older person uses informal language toward you, even if you don't know each other. Age plays a big role in Korea, so sometimes older people will use the informal thank you to show their appreciation. You just learned three different ways to say thank you and how to respond in Korean. And if you really want to become fluent and speak Korean from the very first lesson, go to koreanclass101.com. I will see you next time. 안녕히 계세요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 행복한 Happy 행복한 행복한 Happy 저는 행복한 사람입니다. I am a happy person. 저는 행복한 사람입니다. 슬픈 sad 슬픈 슬픈 sad 슬픈 청소년은 혼자 앉아 있다. The sad teenager is sitting alone. 슬픈 청소년은 혼자 앉아 있다. 화난 angry 화난 화난 angry 오늘 아침에 화난 일이 있었다. There was something that made me angry this morning. 오늘 아침에 화난 일이 있었다. Old Closing Old Old Closing. 옷 가게에서 일했어. I worked at a clothing store. 옷 가게에서 일했어. 신발. Shoe. 신발. 신발 shoe 새 신발이 필요해요. I need new shoes. 새 신발이 필요해요. 양말 sock 
Yang Bai Yang Bai Sock Yang Mai Shina Sock Are you wearing socks? Yang Bai Shin Oso Sogot Underwear Sogot Sogot Underwear 내 양말과 속옷은 서랍장 척 안에 있어. My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser. 내 양말과 속옷은 서랍장 척 안에 있어. 말하다 Talk 말하다 말하다 talk 너랑 말하고 싶지 않아 I don't want to talk to you 너랑 말하고 싶지 않아 주다 Give. 주다. 주다. Give. 선물을 주다. Give a present. 선물을 주다. 낫다. Low. Nata. Nata. Low. 내 소득은 동료들에 비해 상대적으로 낮다. My income is relatively low compared to my coworkers. 내 소득은 동료들에 비해 상대적으로 낮다. 높다. high. 높다. 높다. high. 반도체 관련주는 늘 가격이 높다. The price of semiconductor relative stocks is always high. 반도체 관련주는 늘 가격이 높다. 과일 fruit 과일 과일 fruit 접시에 과일을 담아 주세요. Please put the fruits on the plate. 접시에 과일을 담아 주세요. 문어 Octopus 문어 문어 Octopus 문어가 바닷속을 헤엄치고 있다. The octopus is swimming in the ocean. 문어가 바닷속을 헤엄치고 있다. 상어 Shark 상어 상어 shark 상어는 피 비린내로 유인한다. The sharks are lured in by the smell of blood. 상어는 피 비린내로 유인한다. 
Kure Whale Kure Kure Whale Kure Diri Sumer Sigi Vihe Sumyanuro Ulaugu Ita The whales are coming up for air. Kore Tri Sumer Shigi Vihe Sumyanuro Ulaugu Ita Hurin Cloudy Hurin Hurin Cloudy 저는 흐린 날이 싫습니다. I don't like cloudy days. 저는 흐린 날이 싫습니다. 시원한 cool 시원한 시원한 cool 시원한 계곡으로 놀러 가고 싶어요. I want to go to a cool valley and chill out. 시원한 계곡으로 놀러 가고 싶어요. 오이 cucumber 오이 오이 Cucumber. 오이가 싱싱해요. These cucumbers are fresh. 오이가 싱싱해요. 피망. Bell pepper. 피망. 피망. Bell pepper. 가장 흔한 피망 색깔은 초록색과 빨간색 그리고 노란색입니다. The most common bell peppers are green, red, or yellow. 가장 흔한 피망 색깔은 초록색과 빨간색 그리고 노란색. Broccoli. 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 is said to prevent cancer. Broccoli. 암을 예방해 준다고 해요. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. 잘 가요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi, everybody. My name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 core Korean words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean.
Okay, let's get started. First is K. Dog. K. K. Dog. K가 낯선 사람에게 막 짖고 있습니다. The dog is barking harshly at strangers. K가 낯선 사람에게 막 짖고 있습니다. 고양이 cat 고양이 고양이 cat 집에 고양이 한 마리가 있습니다. I have a cat at home. 집에 고양이 한 마리가 있습니다. 햄스터 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 한국에서는 햄스터를 대형 마트나 애완 동물샵에서 살수 있습니다. Pet hamsters can be bought at large discount department stores or in pet shops in Korea. 한국에서는 햄스터를 대형 마트나 애완 동물샵에서 살수 있습니다. 따뜻한 warm 따뜻한 따뜻한 warm 겨울에는 따뜻한 코트를 입는다. In winter I wear a warm coat. 겨울에는 따뜻한 코트를 입는다. B. Rain. B. B. Rain. 거리에 비가 내리고 있다. The rain is falling on the street. 거리에 비가 내리고 있다. Tomato, 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 tomato juice, 한잔 주세요. Please give me a cup of tomato juice. Tomato juice, 한잔 주세요. 딸기, strawberry. 딸기, 딸기, strawberry. 사과 말고 딸기가 좋아요. I like strawberry, not apple. 사과 말고 딸기가 좋아요. Cherry, 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 cherry. Cherry. Cherry 먹고 싶어요. I want to eat cherries. Cherry 먹고 싶어요. I. Child. I. I. Child. 우리 아이는 아주 튼튼하다. My child is very healthy. 우리 아이는 아주 튼튼하다. 친구 friend 친구 친구 friend 공원에서 친구를 만났어요. I met a friend at the park. 공원에서 친구를 만났어요. 성인 Adult 
성인 성인 adult 비만은 성인병의 주요 원인입니다. Obesity is a main cause of adult illnesses. 비만은 성인병의 주요 원인입니다. 자전거 bicycle 자전거 자전거 bicycle 자전거는 차고에 있어요. The bicycle is in the garage. 자전거는 차고에 있어요. 자동차 car 자동차 자동차 car 어떤 자동차예요? What kind of car is it? 어떤 자동차예요? 오토바이 motorcycle 오토바이 오토바이 motorcycle 오토바이로 가는 것이 더 빠를 거야. Going by motorcycle will be faster. 오토바이로 가는 것이 더 빠를 거야. 스쿠터 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 도심에서는 스쿠터 타는 것이 편리해요. Scooters are convenient in the city. 도심에서는 스쿠터 타는 것이 편리해요. 배 boat 배 배, boat 낚싯배의 행렬은 아름다운 장관을 연출합니다. The fishing boat parade creates a beautiful scenery. 낚싯배의 행렬은 아름다운 장관을 연출합니다. 해파리 Jellyfish 해파리 해파리 Jellyfish 해파리들이 물속에서 솟아 올라가고 있다. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. 해파리들이 물속에서 솟아 올라가고 있다. 바닷가재 lobster 바닷가재 바닷가재 lobster 바닷가재는 정말 비싸요. Lobsters are very expensive. 바닷가재는 정말 비싸요. 개 crab 개 개, crab. 개는 보통 옆으로 걸어요. Crabs usually work sideways. 개는 보통 옆으로 걸어요. 거북이, turtle. 거북이, 거북이. Total. 바다 거북이가 바다에서 수영하고 있다. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. 바다 거북이가 바다에서 수영하고 있다. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. 
Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 시계 Watch 시계 시계 Watch 시계 있어요? Do you have a watch? 시계 있어요? 안경 Glasses 안경 안경 Glasses 저는 안경을 끼지 않아요. I don't wear glasses. 저는 안경을 끼지 않아요. Jacket. 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 Jacket이 잘 어울려요. That jacket looks nice on you. 재킷이 잘 어울려요. 받다 receive 받다 받다 receive 고백 받다 to receive a confession of love. 고백 받 다. 검색 search 검색 검색 search 인터넷으로 검색하면 나와요. It will show up if you search on the internet. 인터넷으로 검색하면 나와요. 데려다 주다. Take. 데려다 주다. 데려다 주다. Take. 집에 데려다 주세요. Please take me home. 집에 데려다 주세요. 약한 weak 약한 약한 weak 제 가족은 제 힘이자 약한 부분입니다. My family is my strength and my weakness. 제 가족은 제 힘이자 약한 부분입니다. 세다 strong 세다 세다 strong 고릴라는 원숭이보다 힘이 더 세다. Gorillas are stronger than monkeys. 고릴라는 원숭이보다 
힘이 더 세다. 춥다. cold. 춥다. 춥다. cold. 북극은 여름에도 춥다. The North Pole is cold even in summer. 북극은 여름에도 춥다. 뜨거운 hot 뜨거운 뜨거운 hot 나는 뜨거운 목욕을 한다. I take a hot bath. 나는 뜨거운 목욕을 한다. 웃기는 funny 웃기는 웃기는 funny 웃기는 시트콤은 저를 행복하게 만듭니다. Funny sitcoms make me happy. 웃기는 시트콤은 저를 행복하게 만듭니다. 복숭아 peach 복숭아 복숭아 peach 저는 복숭아에 알레르기가 있어요. I'm allergic to peaches. 저는 복숭아에 알레르기가 있어요. 오렌지 orange 오렌지 오렌지 orange 저는 아침 식사와 함께 오렌지 주스를 그리고 점심 식사와 함께 사과 주스를 마십니다. I drink orange juice with breakfast and apple juice with lunch. 저는 아침 식사와 함께 오렌지 주스를 그리고 점심 식사와 함께 사과 주스를 마십니다. 감자 potato 감자 감자 potato 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. Fried potato is not good for your health. 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. 콩 soybean 콩콩 콩. soybean 대두는 콩의 일종입니다. A soybean is a kind of bean. 대두는 콩의 일종입니다. 야채 vegetable 야채 야채 vegetable 야채 볶음을 먹었어요. I ate fried vegetables. 야채 볶음을 먹었어요. 소 cow 소 소, cow. 소들이 들판에서 풀을 뜯고 있다. The cows are grazing in the field. 소들이 들판에서 풀을 뜯고 있다. 돼지, pig. 돼지. 돼지 pig 돼지는 하늘을 볼수 없어요. 
Pigs cannot look up at the sky. 돼지는 하늘을 볼수 없어요. 말 horse 말 말, horse, 말 타본 적 있어요? Have you ever ridden a horse before? 말 타본 적 있어요? 눈, snow, 눈, 눈. Snow. 나무에 눈이 내리고 있다. The snow is falling in the woods. 나무에 눈이 내리고 있다. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jae Hui. In this video, you'll learn about top 25 Korean verbs. Let's get started! 가다, to go. So when you are going to somewhere, you can just say something something e kada. So you're with your Korean friends and now you want to go to a club. You can say 클럽에 가고 싶어. 클럽에 가자. 클럽에 갈까? 가시다, to have. So in Korean drama, like there's a girl who want to get married with a rich guy and she would say 저 남자 갖고 싶어. I want to have the guy. 나오다, to come out. You are moving out of the place, you can just say 나오다. 놀다, to play. Let's say you want to hang out with your friend. Your friend is at home sleeping. You just call him and just say 나와, 놀자. That means like to come out and hang out with me. 놓다, to put. So when you just put something, you can just say 놓다. 마우스를 놓다. 아이패드를 놓다. 대답하다, to answer. You're in a classroom and you ask a very difficult question to your teacher. He doesn't answer, then you say, 대답해 주세요, please. You can use it only to mean to answer a question. 돕다, to help. You need some help in Korean. Then you can say, 도와주세요. And the other person say, 아, 도와드릴게요. Which means, you know, I'll help you. So usually we say, 도와주다. A little bit more, which really means to give a help. 듣다, to hear, to listen. So, 음악을 듣다. Ums, 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 ums. I'm listening to koreanclass101.com podcast. 마시다, to drink. You can use this verb for any types of drinks. So, water, or soju, 맥주, any types of. So we also use the verb 먹다 to talk about beverage too. So you can use 마시다 or 먹다. <laughs> That's how we drink soju. <laughs> 만나다, to meet. So even if you meet someone for the first time, second time, third time, you can say 만나다. You meet someone first time, 만나서 반가워요. Second time, 만나서 반가워요. Third time, 만나서 반가워요. Every time you can use it. 만나서 반가워요. 말하다, to say, to speak. 마이크에 말하다. 음시, 음시, 음시. <웃음> 만나서 반가워요. 이름이 뭐예요? 먹다, to eat. 잘 먹겠습니다. 음. 먹다, 잘 먹었습니다. You can use it to mean to drink. So you can say, 물을 먹다, to. 모르다, to not know. 모르겠어요, I don't know. You can also say, 모르겠어요. I don't understand. 잘 모르겠어요. 받다, to receive. 선물을 받겠습니다. 선물, 선물. 오. 보다, to try. For example, you can say, 춤을 쳐보다. 보다, to see. 
so you see something like you watch TV, you see a movie, you see, you know, your loved one, you can always use this one verb, 보다. So, 영화를 보다, 텔레비전을 보다, 드라마를 보다, 콘서트를 보다. All with the verb 보다. I watch some drama then. 사용하다, to use. For any type of tools, you can use verb and also with a language. For example, 한국어를 사용하다. And when you dance, you can say 몸을 사용하다. 아니다, to not be. Anything like no, not, you can just use this. You don't like this food, you can say 아니야, 아니야. You don't like it. 알다, to know. Someone is talking about things that you know, boring. You can say 알아, 알아, I know, I know. Your parents are talking about things that you have to do, you can say 알아요, 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 알아요. I know, I know. 안타, to not do. You can use this with any types of verbs. For example, 먹지 않다, 보지 않다, 가지 않다, 춤추지 않다. 오다, to come. 가다 was to go, 오다 is for to come. So in the morning, 학교에 가다, but in the afternoon, 집에 오다. 있다, to be. This verb is the magic word because it can mean there is, to be, using the same word. So simply just say the noun for the object and say 있다. 사람이 있다, 나무가 있다, 학교가 있다, 집이 있다. 좋아하다, to like. So you can just put any type of object and say 좋아하다. For example, 김치를 좋아하다, 밥을 좋아하다, 춤을 좋아하다. If you want to date with someone, then you can just start with this as a first question. 뭘 좋아해? What do you like? 주다, to give. 선물을 받다, and next day, 선물을 주다. So when someone is moving in and you are invited to the home party, you have to bring a pack of toilet papers. 두루마기 휴지를 주다. For those who just moved in. 하다, to do. In Korean, we have a lot of verbs with this word inside, 하다. For example, 노래하다, 청소하다, 공부하다. Okay, that's all top 25 Korean verbs that we have. And thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 감사합니다. Bye, guys. Hi guys, I'm Caitlin. 안녕하세요, 케이진입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin. So today I'm going to be sharing some interesting facts about BTS and Caitlin will be sharing some new Korean words with you. So I am a big fan of BTS. I'm what's called an army. Um, and recently, since I'm an army, I decided to start studying Korean with Korean Class 101. So Caitlin, do you know anything about BTS? Actually, I don't know about BTS very well. I know they are very popular, but I don't watch TV very often, mm. and I don't know about Korean idols very well. Yeah, so you said army, so mm. what does that mean? I mean, are you a soldier or something? No, so army is just the name that's given to the fans or fandom of BTS. Kajin, what is army in Korean? Actually, I searched for that on the internet, and it's just army. Oh. <laughs> It's just an army in the Korean pronunciation. Mm. So can you pronounce this word, ami? Ami? Hmm. Good. Wow, nice pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Caitlin and I created this ebook, 217 Facts About BDS for KoreanClass101.com. Okay, so in this video, we're going to take some of the facts out of the book and share it with you guys. So Caitlin, where can they find this book? So you can download this book for free on koreanclass101.com slash bts. Click the link in the description here or here or here somewhere. So Kejin, do you know what BTS stands for? So their Korean name is 방탄소년단. So 방, B, 탄, T, 소년단, S. So it's BTS. It translates to um, Bulletproof Boy Scouts. So why is it BTS? Um, well, since it translates to Bulletproof Boy Scouts, I heard that they chose this name because they wanted to shield all of their fans, oh. so... Bang! <laughs> Bang! Bang <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know how many members are in BTS? Yes, there are seven members, right? Mm, yes. <laughs> can you name all of them? Oh, I can try. 
Red Monster, mm. Jin, V, J Hope, Jungkook, mm. Min Yoongi, Sugar. Mm. Ah, Sugar, right, right, right. And Jimin. Yeah, Jimin. Ah, I like Jimin. Ah. So, who do you think is the most popular in Asia or America out of all of the members? I saw a lot of comments about Jimin. So I guess he's the most popular, and I personally like the name Red Monster. <laughs> it's so catchy, isn't it? So usually Jungkook is the most popular, oh. but the Maknae line is, mm. out of popularity-wise, is the most popular. So Jimin, V, and Jungkook, but Jungkook is usually the highest. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Why is Jungkook popular? So Jungkook is called the Golden Maknae, so... Mm. He's pretty much good at everything, and I guess people are just attracted to people who are good at everything. <laughs> everything? What do you mean? Like, they, he can dance well, sing well, mm -hmm. rap well? Yeah. Well. Yeah, he can dance, he can sing, and he can rap. So, in their earlier songs, he's seen rapping because he was originally going to be a rapper, but then they changed it up, and he ended up being a singer. Kajun, how do you say to sing in Korean? It's 노래하다. 노래하다. No. 응. 노래하다. 노래하다. So 노래 means a song and 하다 means to do. So it literally means to do a song. Oh, okay. So a fact that you might not know about Jungkook is that he has a huge crush on Sailor Moon. Oh, me too. <laughs> you too. I love Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah, I grew up watching Sailor Moon. It was a pretty popular anime in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, and she's pretty. <laughs> yeah, one time Namjoon dressed up as Sailor Moon and <laughs> for Jungkook, so. What? Wait, wait, who is Namjoon? Namjoon is Rat Monster. Oh, okay, so it's his real name. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, by the way, who is your favorite member? Okay, so my favorite member is also called My Bias, and My Bias is Kim Namjoon. So, Rap Monster, right? Yes. So, why do you like him? So, he's seen as the intellectual of the group, and mm -hmm. I just find that very attractive. Um, he's also very sweet and very accommodating to the international fans, and I'm from America, so that's nice. <laughs> so, that's why I like him a lot. I saw a lot of... BTS music videos yesterday, and then in all the music videos, he's the first one appearing, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe lots of songs start from rap. Yeah, he's the leader in the group, and him and Sugar uh, write a lot of the songs, so he probably has a hand in choosing who goes first, and so. Yeah, I like him. He seems very charismatic. So it said he has an IQ of 148. Mm, He's yeah. very smart. Yeah. So he actually was on a game show called Problematic Men for a while as a guest, but they stopped inviting him because he kept beating the professors that were also on the game show. So wow. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's really smart. Mm. He's a lead rapper. What's rapper in Korean? It's rap pop. That part is easier than other mm. <laughs> Korean words, I guess. <laughs> so how many rappers are there? There's three. Three? That's a lot. There's Rap Monster, Sugar, and J-Hope. So why is his name Suga? Not Sugar or some other <laughs> Suga. I, I first, when uh. I saw the Korean name Suga, I thought it's Sugar. But it's not Sugar, it's just Suga. Uh, sugar? I'm assuming because it sounds <laughs> more like a rapper name than Sugar. <laughs> yeah, Sugar sounds so cute mm. to like a girl name. Yeah. So he got his name from the CEO of Big Hit, which is the company that BTS works with. And um, he got it because he's so pale and he's really sweet. So the CEO decided to call him Sugar. Oh, wait, wait. I love his hobby. Doing nothing when mm. he has free time. He has the same hobby as me. His favorite thing to do is sleeping, and he actually has a really foul mouth, so the other members are really scared to wake him up. <laughs> What's to sleep in Korean? It's 잠자다. 잠자다. 잠, sleep, 자다. 잠자다. 잠자다. It's 잠자다, but you can also omit 잠. So you can just say 
chata. Mm -hmm. And it says that when he's nervous, he speaks with a Satori accent. Ah, Satori Ogyang. Oh, okay. How do you say it? Satori Ogyang. So I guess he's from a different city, not Seoul, right? He's from Daegu. Oh, Daegu. Okay. Daegu. Daegu. I see, yeah. So Daegu is between Seoul and Busan. So Seoul is northern South Korea and then Busan is southern South Korea. Okay. So it's between them. So I said, I would say it's middle of Korea. And they have really strong accent. Mm. Well, so some people think that accent is really manly. And for girls, some people think it's really cute. Uh -huh. So who is the last rapper? So the last rapper is J-Hope and he's mm -hmm. also the lead dancer. Mm -hmm. So um, before they debuted, actually, him and Jungkook, their roles were supposed to have been switched. He was supposed to be a singer mm. and Jungkook was supposed to have been the rapper. He's called the, the sunshine and the hope of the, the group and the fandom. Sunshine? Yeah, he's always very bright and very happy. Mm. Um, that's his concept. Mm -hmm. He's a very happy person. He doesn't show his sadness or anything. He hates he hates exercising and working out. <laughs> well, he's very similar to me. But is he a main dancer? Yeah, he probably sees dancing as more of a fun activity rather than exercising. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we covered four members. Who are the rest three members? The other three members are Jimin, V, and Jin. Could you tell me more about Jimin? I saw him a lot on. Mm -hmm. Of Facebook and YouTube comments. I guess he's really popular too. Yeah, he's also a singer like Jungkook, but he's also one of the main mm -hmm. dancers. Mm -hmm. So J Hope's seen as the best dancer, and then Jimin and Jungkook are seen as the second best dancers. Jimin is the member who is known for doing fan service. Mm. What is fan service exactly? <laughs> so, fan service is like ripping your shirt off and like showing abs and stuff. So <laughs> he has That's the a good fan service. He has really nice abs, so he's the one for that always shows his abs. <laughs> what is fan service in Korean? It's so easy. Pen service. Pen service. Right, we don't have F sound in Korean pronunciation, so we just use P sound instead. Oh. So it's pen service. Okay. Pan service. Can you do it? Pan service. Hey. <laughs> oh, but he views himself as fat and he has abs. So he exercises a lot and mm -hmm. when they first debuted, he had a rounder face. Uh -huh. He had cheeks. It's his mochi phase. But he dieted a lot to get rid of his cheeks mm -hmm. and to get his abs. Mm -hmm. So he he's now very thin and a lot of his fans encourage him to eat more. <laughs> so he shouldn't view himself as fat now. No, and not even in the beginning. He was always very skinny. His favorite song to karaoke is Look At Me Only by Taeyang because he has previously had a one-side love. Why? The, the girl didn't like Jimin? He's cute and <laughs> cool. I know. I don't know why. I understand. Well, <laughs> <laughs> never happened now. Maybe she's regretting now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe yeah, she's married. <laughs> How come? <laughs> so what's one-sided love in Korean? It's 짝사랑. 짝사랑. Right. This, uh, the pronunciation of 짝 is not easy. Mm. Um, in romanization, we just say JJ. Yeah, <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it's not easy. We also have pronunciation series on, on the website, so please check it out. So, chak means one side, mm -hmm. and sarang means love. Mm -hmm. So, it's one side love, chak sarang. Now, I've heard saranghae is love. Yeah, saranghae is from saranghada. Hada is to do, we just mm -hmm. learned. So, saranghae means do love. Okay, I love you, saranghae. So let's talk about the next member, V. He's the sub-vocalist. He's, he, he's ranked as one of the lower vocalists, but he has a deeper voice, so he's really needed in the group to balance out the, the higher voices like Jungkook and Jimin and Jin. Why is his name V? 
<laughs> his name is apparently uh, V because it stands for victory. This means victory in Korea. We just do it when we take a picture and say V kimchi. This is like peace in in America. Oh, okay. Yeah. He grew up on a farm. He did, and he probably had the most difficulty going into training because he grew up on a farm and then he went to Seoul, which is very different than a farm. <laughs> and his mother bought him a jacket, a really expensive jacket, because she didn't want him to feel out of place in such a crazy city. Oh, so he doesn't. Uh, she doesn't want V look like a country boy. Yeah. And so all of the other members thought he was rich when he <laughs> showed up. <laughs> yeah, he said he's obsessed with Gucci. Mm, yeah, he really loves Gucci now. And he also said when his teaser image was released, five personal fan clubs were created. Mm. Is he good looking? So V and Jin are considered to be the really two good looking ones in the group. I mean, all of them are very good looking, but they're the most good looking. <laughs> So the last member we're going to go over is Jin. He's a singer. <laughs> He's also categorized as the worst dancer. <laughs> worst dancer? Him and Rat Monster are the two worst dancers. People usually say Rat Monster is a little bit better, but not much. They both have like signature really bad dances. <laughs> really? When I watched music video, everyone was so good. I know. They're all so good, but they're like, no, Jin and Rat Monster, they're bad. <laughs> Two of his nicknames are Pink Princess mm -hmm. and Princess Jin. Princess Jin. Princess. Yeah. Jin loves to be a princess. He, absolute princess. He's always in photo shoots and he has like flower crowns on and stuff and he's just posing like a princess. So what's princess in Korean? It's Gongju. Gongju. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Gongju. Gongju means a princess. Okay. If he was a girl, he said he would date Jimin mm. because he's shy and someone like Jimin would help him open up and be social. Mm. So Jin said that if he was a girl, he'd like to j date Jimin because Jimin is a lot more outgoing than him and Jin is very shy and he thinks that he'd be more outgoing with Jim Jimin. Jimin is a little bit more talkative, but I, I don't really see Jin as shy. He... He's very flirtatious with the camera. He He's always like giving kisses and... He's the one who is good at fan service, right? Jimin is the one that does fan service. But Jin, Jin always is like winking at the camera and like giving kisses. So I don't really see him as shy. I don't know why he thinks of himself as shy. So Kajin, did you learn anything interesting about BTS today? So yeah, before talking to you, I thought they are just boy band mm. like who is good at dancing and singing. But I can see that they have all different roles and that was very interesting. And they are all cool and attractive. I like them. <laughs> mm. Me too. Become an <laughs> army. Join <laughs> army. <laughs> okay. So now that you know all of the members, who do you like the best? I like Rat Monster. <laughs> so why do you like Rat Monster? Um, he's very charismatic. And also, I like his rap style. Also, he's from my city. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Ilsan and I live in Ilsan. Maybe I met him somewhere on the street. So I hope you learned some new and interesting facts about BTS. And if you want to learn more about BTS, don't forget to download this ebook. It's free and you can download it on koreanclass101.com slash BTS. Link is in the description here. Here? <laughs> somewhere around this video, so please download it for free. 217 facts. So please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more about Korean, please visit koreanclass101.com. See you next time. Bye, bye. bye. My favorite place in Korea is home. <laughs> Living room. And I just lie on the sofa, just like the guy who is who, who, who was the guy who wants to take a rest oh, whenever sugar. he has sugar, just like sugar. I love taking a rest at home. It's my favorite place in Korea. Yay! Yay! Go BTS! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Finny! Finny!
Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Korean listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? 서점에서 여자가 점원에게 무언가를 부탁하고 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 죄송합니다. 그 선반에 있는 책을 보고 싶습니다. 어떤 책이요? 자동차에 대한 책이요. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. 이거요? 네, 맞아요. 여기 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 서점에서 여자가 점원에게 무언가를 부탁하고 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 죄송합니다. 그 선반에 있는 책을 보고 싶습니다. 어떤 책이요? 자동차에 대한 책이요. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. 이거요? 네, 맞아요. 여기 있습니다. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi, welcome to Introduction to Korean. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Korean pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to the manner in which a word is spoken, so don't focus on reading what's on screen. Instead, focus on listening and repeating. Korean is referred to as a syllable-timed language. What this means is that the syllables in Korean follow each other at regular intervals, usually with the same amount of time allocated for each syllable. 고마워요. 고마워요. Each syllable is pronounced for an equal amount of time. 고마워요. Since Korean is a syllable-timed language, there is no word stress. English, on the other hand, is a stress-timed language. Syllables that are stressed are valued greater than syllables that are unstressed. Individual. The stressed syllable v in individual is deemed more important, so it's pronounced longer than all other syllables. Listen to it again. Individual. This gives English a Morse code-like rhythm, where the pace is sometimes fast and at other times slow. Compare this once again with Korean, which is even throughout. 고마워요. Individual. 고마워요. 고마워요. When pronouncing Korean words, focus on giving equal time to each syllable as you say the characters out loud. There are 10 basic vowel sounds in Korean, which are used to create a total of 21 vowel sound combinations. Let's take a look at how some of the basic vowels are pronounced. Ah. 어, 오, 우, 으, 이. There are also iotized vowel sounds in Korean. This simply means that there's an added Y sound. 야, 여, 요, 유. Finally, there are diphthongs, which are two vowels pronounced closely together to form a gliding sound. 와, 워. These are some of the basic vowel sounds in Korean. There are 14 basic consonants that produce a total 19 consonant sounds in Korean. All of these sounds are categorized into nasal, plain, aspirated, or tense sounds. You can think of these categories as going from soft to harder sounding consonants. Nasal consonants are consonant sounds which are pronounced through the nose. These consist of M, N, and NG type sounds. N, M, U. Plain consonant sounds are called that because they do not have special features added to them. Think of the T sound in stand or the P sound in span. Aspirated consonant sounds, on the other hand, have an added turbulent sound. These sounds are like the English T sounds in tuck or take or the P in puck. Aspirated sounds are pronounced with a big burst of air, unlike plain sounds, which do not have this quality. 
Compare the two categories of sounds. G, k, d, t, b, p. Tense consonants, also known as double consonants, are pronounced with a stiffer voice. More pressure is built up and it's released much more quickly than plain sounds. G, d, b, s, z. Korean has a handful of sounds that are similar to English. They're not identical, however, so don't make the mistake of pronouncing them as such. One of the most unique sounds in Korean is the consonant liul. Lu. This consonant is often romanized as an R or an L, but there isn't an equivalent sound in English. Lama. This sound is actually somewhere between an L and an R sound. When pronouncing this sound, your tongue should strike the gum ridge behind your upper teeth in a quick, rapid motion. Listen and repeat after J. Lu. Lu. Lama. Lama. Well done! Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that Korean is a syllable-timed language. You also learned the different categories for vowel and consonant sounds in Korean. And you discovered that there are some consonant sounds which do not have an English equivalent. We've covered only the basics of Korean pronunciation. If you're interested in learning more, check out the entire course we created named the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. In that course, we cover and break down all the sounds in the Korean language, showing you mouth and tongue positioning, and giving you tips to help you perfect your Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, we'll introduce you to the basics of Korean grammar, where you'll learn about Korean word order and how to build basic phrases in Korean. See you in the next lesson. Bye! 다음에 또 만나요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 손. Hand, 손, 손, hand, 왼손, left hand, 왼손, 팔, arm. 팔, 팔, arm, 근육질의 팔, muscular arm, 근육질의 팔, 팔. Foot, 팔, 팔, foot, 오른발, right foot, 오른발, 다리. Leg, 다리, 다리, leg, kin 다리, long legs, kin 다리. 
손가락 finger 손가락 손가락 finger 새끼 손가락 pinky finger 새끼 손가락 등 back 등, 등, back, 등이 아파요. My back hurts. 등이 아파요. 배, stomach. 배, 배, stomach. 배가 아파요. My stomach hurts. 배가 아파요. 가슴, chest. 가슴 가슴 chest 가슴 x-ray x-ray of a chest 가슴 x-ray 1월 January 1월 1월 January 이곳은 1월에 정말 춥습니다. It's very cold here in January. 이곳은 1월에 정말 춥습니다. 2월 February 2월 2월 February 2월은 28일밖에 없는 가장 짧은 달입니다. February is the shortest month with 28 days. 2월은 28일 밖에 없는 가장 짧은 달입니다. 3월 March 3월 3월 March 3월 17일 March 17th 3월 17일 4월 April 4월 4월 April 4월 1일 April 1st 4월 1일 5월 May 5월 5월 May 5월의 꽃 May flowers 5월의 꽃 6월 June, you are, you are, June, 
우리는 6월에 결혼할 것입니다. We are getting married in June. 우리는 6월에 결혼할 것입니다. 7월 July 7월 7월 July 7월은 31일이 있는 일곱 개의 달 중에 하나입니다. July is one of seven months with 31 days. 7월은 31일이 있는 일곱 개의 달 중에 하나입니다. 8월 August 8월 8월 August 학교는 8월에 닫습니다. The school is closed in August. 학교는 8월에 닫습니다. 9월 September 9월 9월 September 오늘은 9월 10일 토요일입니다. Today is Saturday, September 10th. 오늘은 9월 10일 토요일입니다. 10월 October 10월 10월 October 할로윈은 10월 30일입니다. Halloween falls on October 31st. 할로윈은 10월 31일입니다. 11월 November 11월 11월 November 추수감사절은 11월 24일 목요일입니다. Thanksgiving Thursday November 24th 추수감사절은 11월 24일 목요일 입니다. 12월 December 12월 12월 December 12월 31일은 새해 전날입니다. December 31st is New Year's Eve. 12월 30 일일은 새해 전날입니다. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time. 잘 가요. You are sitting on a train that is about to arrive at the next train station. Suddenly, a notice appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean?
What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, the next stop is the last stop. 다음 역은 종점입니다. Imagine you're in a Korean restaurant. You are ready to order and need to get the waiter's attention. What do you say? 안녕하세요, 이재입니다. 재위 here. Anyone can learn how to order food in a Korean restaurant. In this lesson, you'll learn how. Mark and Karen are getting ready to order at a Korean restaurant. Let's watch. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Now with English. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Here are the keywords from the scene. <놀람> 주문, 주문, order, 주문, 주문. 주문, 셀프, 셀프, 셀프 서비스, 셀프, 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 물, 물, 워터, 물, 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 김치. 김치, 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 순두부, 순두부, 소프트푸, 순두부, 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 찌개. 찌개, soup, stew, 찌개, 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 더, 더, more, 더, 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 아주머니, 아주머니, casual way to say Mrs. 아주머니 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 드리다 드리다 to give 드리다 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 And now a breakdown of some of the Korean you heard in the scene. In the scene, how did Mark order? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. It means one kimchi stew and one soft tofu stew, please. When you order food, first say the name of the food. For example, kimchi jjigae if you want to have kimchi stew. Then say how many you need, for example, hana for one, duge for two, sege for three. Then simply add juseyo, which literally means please give. 
If you want to order two kimchi stews, you can say 김치찌개 두개 주세요. When you order two or more items, you can connect food names with the word 랑, which means end. Using this pattern, if you want to order one kimchi and one bowl of rice, you can say 김치 하나 랑 밥 하나 주세요. Now you try. Say Mark's line. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. What did Mark say when he wanted to get more kimchi? 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. 김치 좀 주세요. 김치 좀 주세요. It means, please give me more kimchi. Mark wanted to get more kimchi, so he said the word kimchi first. As you know, kimchi is the name of a very common Korean side dish. This phrase ends with the verb 주세요. It's an honorific form of the verb 주다, which means to give. In this line, Mark also uses the word 좀. In this context, it's used to ask more politely. If you don't use the word 좀 and just say 김치 주세요, 김치 please, it sounds a bit rude because it's very direct. By adding the word 좀, you can make your request less direct and therefore more polite. Now you try. Say Mark's line asking for more kimchi. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Now the lesson focus. Here's how to order food at a Korean restaurant. Korean restaurants are a little different from other types of restaurants. When you are ready to order in a Korean restaurant, you simply need to raise your hand and say 저기요, which means excuse me there. If you are eating in a traditional Korean restaurant, it's normal to address the female staff in the restaurant as 아주머니 if they are over the age of 30. To male staff, you can use 아저씨. Listen again to what Mark said. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. If it is too loud for the waiters to hear you, call the staff again. It's not rude. Some of the most popular Korean dishes people order are 김치찌개 or 김치 stew and 순두부찌개 or stew with soft tofu. These foods are a bit spicy, so if you don't like spicy foods, look for a dish called 불고기. 불고기 is sliced and seasoned barbecued beef. This is another popular dish among foreigners. If you are not quite sure what to order, ask the waiter, 여기 뭐가 가장 맛있어요? It means, what's the most delicious food here? And they will tell you a few of their most popular dishes. When you finally decide on what to order, say the name of the food you want and say 주세요. Listen to what Mark said. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. Simply say the name of the food and add 주세요, meaning please give. If you just need one kimchi stew, for example, you can say 김치찌개 하나 주세요. Most dishes are served with a serving of rice and assorted side dishes for free. These side dishes are called panchan. They can be refilled for free. You can get more by saying the food name and 좀더 주세요. For example, if you need more kimchi, you can say 김치 좀더 주세요. Please give us more kimchi. If you need a bottle of water, say 물좀더 주세요. It means please give me a bottle of water. Sometimes restaurants have a sign that says 물은 셀프입니다. This literally means water is for self-service. They post it to say you should pour your own water, so look around first for the sign before you ask them to bring water. Now it's time to practice your new ability. You're in a traditional Korean restaurant and you've called the waitress over. Ready? Here we go. You want to order one kimchi stew. How will you order? Kimchi chige hana juseo. You've run out of side dishes and need them refilled. What should you say?
김치 좀더 주세요. Great job. 김치찌개 하나 주세요. 김치 좀더 주세요. 잘했어요. Now, watch the scene one more time. After that, you'll be ready to order food at a Korean restaurant. 안녕히 계세요. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. In this series, you'll master Korean pronunciation. Proper pronunciation is essential in Korean, and in this series, you'll learn it in a fast, comprehensive, and easy way. In this first lesson, you'll learn two key points for mastering Korean pronunciation. The first key point is to master the pronunciation of 24 basic Korean letters. The Korean alphabet has 14 basic consonants and 10 basic vowels. One letter represents each of these sounds. These are then written out in blocks to form each syllable. Here's a sample character. This block has two letters, one on top and one at the bottom. The letter on top is the consonant N. Below it is the vowel U. Combined, you read the block NU. Listen to the native Korean speaker. Ni, u, nu. You can add another letter to the bottom of this block. Compare the top and bottom letters. Can you read the block? The bottom letter is the N sound, just like the top letter. Combining these with the vowel in the middle, you pronounce the whole block nun, which means I in Korean. You will see many different block arrangements in Korean. But once you master the pronunciation of the 24 basic letters, you can read any of these blocks in Korean. The second key point is, each syllable in Korean is pronounced for the same length of time with equal stress. For example, when you say camera in English, you put stress on ka and say it for longer than the other syllables of the word. Camera. But in Korean, Each syllable is pronounced for the same amount of time and gets equal stress. Listen to the word camera in Korean. Camera. This principle applies throughout the entire sentence, not just for individual words. Listen to the Korean sentence. 이것은 카메라입니다. Now to close this lesson, here's a question for you. Why should you, including advanced speakers, spend time on learning proper pronunciation? The answer? You will be understood, and this will help you build more confidence as you communicate in Korean. For beginners, you're on the path to learning proper pronunciation. And for more advanced students, this is a chance to finally master Korean pronunciation. Now you know the basics of Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, you'll learn the top five pronunciation mistakes that Korean learners make. You'll want to avoid these at all costs, so please stay tuned. What is the hardest part of Korean pronunciation? Tell us about it in the comments. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com's 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. 실례하지만 한국어 하세요? If you understood this, you can say 예, yeah, meaning yes. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase 실례하지만 영어 하세요? Excuse me, do you speak English? This uses the phrase 실례하지만 one way to say excuse me in Korean. Today, we are going to learn several ways to apologize in Korean. Are you ready? Let's start. First is, 실례합니다. It means, excuse me. 
if you want to add something to the end, to it get to 실례하지만. Excuse me, but here 실례 means excuse and 합니다 means to do. So 실례합니다 means do excuse or excuse me. If you change 합니다 with 하지만, which means but, you can say 실례하지만. It means excuse me, but. Saying 실례합니다 doesn't mean you've done something wrong. It just means you have a question or favor to ask that may require someone to take some trouble for you. If you've actually done something rude or if you made mistakes, you use a different phrase. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. This is the phrase you would use if you ever bumped into somebody on the street in Korea. 죄송합니다. If you say 실례합니다 in this situation, the person you bumped may not get that you're apologizing and may instead think that you bumped them on purpose to ask a favor. How about saying excuse me to get a waiter or bartender's attention? Koreans use a couple of different phrases for that. The first is 여기요. 여기요. That means over here, please. It may sound a little rude in English, but in Korean it's fine. Another version that sounds slightly more polite is 저기요. 저기요. That means excuse me, you there. It may sound even more rude in English, but in Korean it's no problem. When the waiter is away from you, you can use this phrase, 저기요. You don't have to wait for the waiter to come to you. Just speak up with 여기요 or 저기요. Between friends, you can say 미안해. Sorry. 미안해. 미안해 is an informal way to apologize to someone. Using 미안 instead of 죄송 suggests that you've hurt someone's feelings, not just inconvenience them. Now it's time for Amy's insights. Want to sound more sincere when you apologize? Just add 정말, which means truly. 정말 미안합니다. I'm truly sorry. 정말 미안합니다. You can use 정말 with 미안합니다 and 죄송합니다, but not with 실례합니다. Do you know anything about counting in Korean? How about the name of this series? 3분 한국어. See, you already know a number, 3, which means Three. In the next lesson, we will learn how to count from 1 to 10 in Korean. I'll be waiting for you in our next 3분 한국어 lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. Love these lessons? Want more? You'll find the rest of the Korean writing lessons on koreanclass101.com. So sign up for your free lifetime account and unlock the full course in seconds. You also get audio and video lessons that get you speaking from your very first lesson and teach you real conversations. You'll get PDF lesson notes, cheat sheets, study tools, and much more. Click the link in the description below and sign up for your free lifetime account. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started! First is... 안녕하세요 Hello 안녕하세요 안녕하세요 Hello 
안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? Hello, how have you been? 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? Excuse me. How much is this? 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. I'm sorry. It was a typo. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 안녕히 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. Good night, Grandma. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. Please come in. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? It's been a long time. How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? 네. Yes. 네. 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 Yes. 네, 이거로 주세요. Yes, this one, please. 네, 이거로 주세요. 아니요? No. 아니요? 아니요? No. 아니요? 아직 안 먹었어요. No, I haven't eaten yet. 아니요, 아직 안 먹었어요. 고마워요. Thank you. 고마워요. 고마워요. Thank you. 초대해줘서 고마워요. Thank you very much for the invitation. 초대해 줘서 고마워요. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 소피입니다. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 
저는 존입니다. I'm John. 저는 존입니다. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. Goodbye. See you again. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. 나쁜. Bad. 나쁜. 나쁜. Bad. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. Be careful of bad people. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. 좋은 Good 좋은 좋은 Good 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. My teacher is a good person. 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. 예쁜 Pretty 예쁜 예쁜 Pretty 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. I have a pretty girlfriend. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. 못생긴 Ugly 못생긴 못생긴 Ugly 못생긴 얼굴 Ugly face 못생긴 얼굴 쉬운 Easy 쉬운 쉬운 Easy 쉬운 시험 Easy exam 쉬운 시험 어려운 Difficult 어려운 어려운 Difficult 어려운 문제 Difficult problem 어려운 문제 가까이에 Near 가까이에 가까이에 Near 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. I live near the university. 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. 멀리 far 멀리 멀리 far 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. 
The station is far from here. 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. 작은 small 작은 작은 small 작은 실수 small mistake 작은 실수 Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jae Hui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean phrases. Okay, let's see what we have first. 안녕하세요. Hello. This is the greeting that you can use for the formal situation. When you meet someone for the first time, you can say 안녕하세요, 만나서 반갑습니다, which means hello, it's nice to meet you. Or with your friend, you can just say 안녕 without 하세요, just to say hello to your friend. 여보세요. Hello on the phone. You have to use a different phrase when you want to say hello on the phone. So say, 띠리리리링, 안녕, <laughs> 여보세요, 여보세요. That's <laughs> so you cannot say 안녕하세요 when you're talking on the phone. It sounds weird. 오랜만이에요, long time no see. When you just do shopping in the department store and you see someone you haven't met for a long time, you can just say 오랜만이에요 to mean long time no see. Or with friend, you can say 오랜만이야, long time no see. 안녕히 주무세요, good night. Actually, it literally means please sleep well. So you can use this phrase only with someone who is living together with you, like your parents. So to your parents, 안녕히 주무세요. <laughs> so at night, you can say 안녕히 주무세요. And your parents will be, and then you'll be, 잘 자, good night. So 잘자 is informal way to say good night. So to your wife, to your husband, brother or sister, you can just say 잘자 and then you can just go back to sleep. 안녕히 계세요. Goodbye. There are two ways to say goodbye. This one is the one that you can use when you leave. Let's say you are invited to someone's house. You had a really great time. You leave. In that case, you can say 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 가세요. Goodbye. Let's say you are the host of the party, you invited everyone to your home, had a really great time, and then everyone is leaving now. You want to say 안녕히 가세요, because you stay, everyone else is leaving. For example, you can say 안녕히 가세요, 와주셔서 감사합니다, which means goodbye, thank you for coming. 만나서 반가워요, nice to meet you. When you meet someone for the first time, you can say 안녕하세요, then say 만나서 반가워요. Or if someone is younger than you, you can just say 만나서 반가워 in informal way. So for those who, who just watched the video of me for the first time, let me say 만나서 반가워요. 모르겠어요. I do not know. Let's say on the street, you're in Seoul, someone asks you something in Korean, you don't know, you have no idea what he's talking about. Then you can just simply say 모르겠어요. I do not know. In informal way, 모르겠어. 감사합니다. Thank you. Let's say you got a gift, and you can say 선물 감사합니다. Thank you for the gift. So you can just simply say 감사합니다 or the noun plus 감사합니다 to mean thank you for something. 고맙습니다. Thank you. You can say 감사합니다 or 고맙습니다 to say thank you, but if you want to make it sound more friendly, you can say 고맙습니다. 선물 고맙습니다. Thank you for the gift. 초대 감사합니다. Thank you for the invitation. 잠깐만 기다려 주세요. Wait a moment, please. Let's say you're late and you see your boss is about to leave. <웃음> 잠깐만 기다려 주세요. <웃음> <웃음> 죄송합니다. Sorry. 아, 죄송합니다. Oh, it's not... <웃음> 아, 죄송합니다. <웃음> 미안합니다. 
sorry, don't use this when you make a big mistake, but if it is not big, then you can just say 미안합니다. That's enough. So when you bump on the someone on the street, then you can say this. <웃음> 아, 미안합니다. Because it's not a big mistake. 알겠습니다. I understand. So let's say you made a huge mistake at your company and your boss will be like, 너 지금 뭐 하는 거야? 마, 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 마. You can say, after listening to everything, you can say, 알겠습니다. I understand. Bum, bum. 선생님 질문 있어요. 선생님 이름이 뭐예요? 아, 알겠습니다. 잘 다녀오세요. Have a good journey. You can say that to those who are going to take a big trip, but usually we also use that um, to a father who is about to go to work and we just say, 잘 다녀오세요. 좋은 하루 되세요. Have a nice day. 잘 다녀오세요 literally means please go out and come back safely. So you can say only when someone is leaving and you are staying in and waiting for that person. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? 이름이 뭐예요? <웃음> 이름이 뭐예요? 재휘예요. 아, 네. 이름이 뭐예요? 재휘입니다. 아, 알겠습니다. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? 제 이름은 응응입니다. My name is... <웃음> My name is... <웃음> 제 이름은 이재휘입니다. My name is 이재휘. 안녕. 어서 오세요. Welcome. So you got into the store and you're here. 어서 오세요. Or... 어서오세요! Or you got a guest coming into your place. Then you can say, 어서오세요, welcome. 실례합니다, excuse me. You have to catch your bus and you have to go through the crowd. Then you have to say, 실례합니다, 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 실례합니다. When you want to ask a question, you cannot say, 실례합니다, then your question. 잘 먹겠습니다, I will eat well. Thank you for the meal. You're at the restaurant, you got a lot of food and you're about to eat. Before you eat, you have to say, 잘 먹겠습니다. Even if you're alone, you have to say, 잘 먹겠습니다. 아, 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹었습니다. I ate well. Thank you for the meal. 아, 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 아. 아, 잘 먹었습니다. When you leave a restaurant, you can say, 잘 먹었습니다 to the staff to say thank you for the meal. 맛있게 드세요. Bon appetit. Let's say this is the food that I made with seaweed, huge seaweed. Oh, 맛있게 드세요. 맛있게 드세요. 잘 먹겠습니다. I'm hungry. 이거 얼마예요? How much is this? So you go to shopping, you found the item you really want to have, and then you can say, 이거 얼마예요? 저거 얼마예요? 그거 얼마예요? Then you get the price, but don't accept that. You have to try the discount. Say 깎아주세요 to get your discount. That's all top 25 Korean phrases. Thank you for watching it and please make sure to subscribe. 좋은 하루 보내세요. Have a nice day. 아, 잘 먹겠습니다. 이거 재미를 또. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started! First is... ODE Today 오늘 오늘 today 오늘의 숙제 today's homework 오늘의 숙제 어제 yesterday 
Ote Ote Yesterday Ote at him Yesterday morning Ote at him Neil Tomorrow Neil Neil Tomorrow Neil Bio See you tomorrow Neil Bio 주 week 주 주 week 이번 주는 바빠요 I'm busy this week 이번 주는 바빠요. 년. year. 년. 년. year. 일 년. one year. 1년 초 second 초초 second 1분에는 60초가 있습니다. There are 60 seconds in a minute. 1분에는 60초가 있습니다. 분 minute 분분 분. minute 3분 Three minutes. Sam Poon. Sigan. Hour. Sigan. Sigan. Hour. 저는 매일 여덟 시간을 잡니다. I sleep for eight hours every day. 저는 매일 여덟 시간을 잡니다. Sige. Clock. Sige. Sige. Clock. Alarm sige. Alarm clock. Alarm sige. Chong clock. O clock. Chong clock. Chong clock. O'clock. 아홉 시 정각에 역에서 만나요. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. 아홉 시 정각에 역에서 만나요. 달력. Calendar. 
탄력 탄력 캘린더 달력에 우리 기념일을 적어 놨어요. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. 달력에 우리 기념일을 적어 놨어요. 월요일 Monday 월요일 월요일 Monday 월요일에는 회사에 가요. I go to work on Monday. 월요일에는 회사에 가요. 화요일 Tuesday. 화요일 화요일 Tuesday. 1월 1일 화요일 Tuesday, January 1st 1월 1일 화요일 수요일 Wednesday 수요일 수요일 Wednesday 18일 수요일 Wednesday the 18th 18일 수요일 목요일 Thursday 목요일 목요일 Thursday 1월 3일 목요일 Thursday, January 3rd 1월 3일 목요일 금요일 Friday 금요일 금요일 Friday 이번 주 금요일에 시간 있어요? Are you free this Friday? 이번 주 금요일에 시간 있어요? 토요일 Saturday 토요일 토요일 Saturday 토요일 밤 Saturday night 토요일 밤 일요일 Sunday 일요일 일요일 Sunday 일요일 아침 식사 Sunday morning breakfast 일요일 아침 식사 하다 Do 하다 하다 Do 숙제를 하다 Do homework 숙제를 하다 가다 Go 가다 가다 Go 공원에 가다 
go to the park. 공원에 가다. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean nouns. Okay, let's see what we have first. Cup, a thing or an object. So when you're doing some shopping, you like something that you like, that you don't like, then you can say, 저는 이것이 좋아요, but 저는 저것이 싫어요. I do like this, I do like that. Su, way, method, number. It has three different meaning, method, way, numbers. For example, 사람 수가 많이 있다. In that case, 수 means number. And if you're in a big trouble and you don't know what to do, you can also say 수가 없다. 나, I. So this is the informal way to say I as a pronoun. So you can say 나는 나야. <laughs> I myself. <laughs> 나는 김치가 좋아. 나는 한국이 좋아. 나는 한국 사람이 좋아. Can be a good examples. But when you talk with someone older than you, you cannot say 나. Instead, you have to say 저, which is formal version to say I. 사람, person. When you talk about a person, don't use 것 because 것 is for a thing. So you cannot say 이것이 좋아 when you talk about someone you love. Uh, instead, you can say 이 사람이 좋아. 사람 means person. 우리, we or our. It literally means our or we, but even if it's only about myself talking about my country, then I will say 우리나라, meaning our country. Even though you are not Korean, I will just say our country, 우리나라, when talking about Korea. Even with your friend, you can say 우리 가족, literally meaning our family, even though you want to mean my family. The way to improve your Korean first is to use 우리 more often. 그, he, that. We usually don't use 그 or he, 그녀, she, when we make sentences because it doesn't sound natural to use a specific pronoun about the person. So when you hear 그, you can just think that it's about that, that person, 거, thing. This is a little bit casual way to say 것, which also means thing. 그거 주세요, 저거 주세요. 이거 싫어요, 저거 좋아요. When you talk with a friend, you just use 거, not 것. 년, ear. So when you talk about ear in Korean, you have to use this noun after numbers. For example, 2001년, the year of 2001. You cannot simply say 2001. So with the word, you can say, 저는 3년 전에 서울에 왔습니다, which means I came to Seoul three years ago. 한, one or single. So when you want to talk about one something, like one place, one person, you can use this word with the other noun. For example, 한 사람, one person, 한 곳, a place. 말, words. When you talk about Korean, you can say 한국어, um, but also you can say 한국말, which literally means Korean words. So when you want to say I learn Korean, you can say both 한국어를 공부합니다 and 한국말을 공부합니다. So, and there's another word meaning horse with the same pronunciation, so make sure you understand it correctly. 일, work. So when Korean people want to ask you what is your job or what do you do, um, they will say 무슨 일 하세요? So here, 일 was used to mean work. And also Korean people have a lot of work. Usually they work like more than 10 hours a day. They also have a lot of work to do. So in the case, I can say 저도 일이 많이 있어요. <laughs> 시, honorific suffix to mean Mr, Miss, Mrs. So let's say you want to call someone who is not your friend, but whom you know their name. In that case, you can simply say their name and put 시 
But make sure that you don't put family name there like you do in English. You have to put their first name. So my family name is E. So if you just call me Ishi using my family name and that honorific suffix, it sounds rude. So don't do that. You can just call me um, Jehuishi using my first name instead of family name. We have another suffix, nim, which is more formal than shi. So you can use it when you call your teacher, like saying 선생님, il, they. It has the same pronunciation of the word meaning work. Usually you can use it when you read the date. For example, you can say 7월 2일 to mean July 2nd. Or you can also find this word in the word like 내일, meaning tomorrow, and say 내일 이주와요, which means tomorrow is good. 사회, society. Korean people talk a lot about politics, and in that case, we use 사회 a lot. So if someone is critical about the situation going around um, Korean society, he might say 한국 사회에는 문제가 많이 있다. Or someone would say 한국 사회는 살기 좋다. 그것, that thing. So it has two words that we learned earlier. 그, meaning that. 것, meaning thing. So for example, when you don't know how to read something in Korean, you can just say 그것 어떻게 읽어요? 집, house, home. So if you're in Korea, you might hear some phrases like 우리 집에 놀러 와. So 집 literally means house, home. So even though you want to say my home, make sure to use the pronoun 우리 and say 우리 집. 문제, problem. For example, like when you take a test and the questions are so difficult, you can say 문제가 너무 어려워. 저, that. You can use this pronoun when you talk about something away from you. So when you do shopping and the item you want to have is far away from you, then you can say 저거, 속, inside. So usually you can use it when you talk about something inside of something. For example, 가방 속에 뭐가 있어요? Meaning, what's inside your bag. And there's another word meaning inside, which is 안, to mean the same. 대, place. For formal situation, we use 곧, but for casual, like informal, we use 대. For example, 먹을 때, place to eat. 경우, case. To make you look more smart, you can use this word. For example, 이 경우, this case, 저 경우, that case. 중, center. So you can use this word when you want to say in the middle of something. For example, you can say 한국 음식 중에 뭐가 가장 좋아요? Uh, which literally means in the middle of Korean food. Which one do you like the most? So usually it's used with a group of something. 자신, oneself. Unlike the English word oneself, like we usually use it when we give the advice. For example, 너 자신을 알라, which means you should know yourself. Usually we also use this word to mean confidence and say 자신 있다. One, Korean one. In Korean, you have to say one every time when you talk about money. For example, 이만 원, 이천 원. So when you want to exchange US dollar to one, you can just simply say 달러를 원으로 바꿔주세요. 사랑, love. In Korea, we usually try to be a little bit indirect when talking about love. So we usually use the phrase something like 사랑하는 사람, which means people who I love. So with the one, um, you can say 사랑해, I love you, or 사랑합니다, I love you formally. Okay, that's all top 25 Korean nouns that we have in this video. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. <laughs>
she kept the same pitch for the first and second syllable, but lowered the tone for the last syllable. Listen to another example. 사랑해요. 사랑해요. Number two, pronouncing imported words with a foreign accent. Listen to a word that is commonly used in Korean. Computer. Can you guess what it means? It's the word for computer. It sounds similar to its English counterpart, but there are important differences. If you pronounced it like you would in English, you would be hard to understand. Listen to two other examples. Orange. Hat. The difference in pronunciation may sound small to you, but unless you say them with a native Korean accent, Koreans won't understand what you mean. Number three, overstressing syllables when speaking Korean. Try saying this English sentence out loud. I like bulgogi. Pay attention to the stresses. If you pronounce sentences like this in Korean, it will sound very unnatural. Listen to the native speaker say this sentence in Korean. 불고기가 좋아요. Native speakers do not place stress on any particular syllable. Try saying the sentence without stressing syllables. 불고기가 좋아요. Number four, using an R sound. This letter is often represented as an R or an L but you do not pronounce it this way. In fact, there is no equivalent sound in English for it. Listen to a word that uses this letter. 사랑 사랑 It sounds closer to an L than an R in English. Listen again carefully. 사랑 사랑 We'll learn more about this in Lesson 6, so don't worry about it too much. Number 5. Reading bakjim as they are written. When reading blocks of Korean letters, you'll often find one written at the bottom of a block, like this one. This position is called bakjim, and letters in this position sometimes follow different pronunciation rules. Usually, a letter's pronunciation remains constant. When it is in the bakjim position, however, it sometimes changes. In this case, the letter, which is usually an S sound, becomes a T sound. Listen to the native speaker pronounce the letter in two different blocks. In the second one, she will pronounce it in the bachim position. Sa, sa. This principle applies to all consonants, except for a special group of nasal ones. Whenever these consonants are placed in the bachim position, you will need to pronounce them differently. Here's another example. This letter usually makes an H sound. In the bachim position, you need to read it as T. Listen to the native speaker. In this block, the letter appears both in the top and in the bachim position. Hat. Hat. We'll cover this in greater detail in Lesson 10. You're on the path to mastering Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, you'll master the seven Korean vowels. What's your biggest challenge with Korean pronunciation? Is it one of these top five mistakes? Let us know in the comments. Stick with us and you'll overcome it quickly. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. So far, we've introduced you to the basics and covered the top five mistakes Korean learners make and how to avoid them. In this lesson, you'll learn how to pronounce Korean vowels correctly. Do you remember there are 10 basic vowels in Korean? In this lesson, you're going to learn seven vowels that sound similar to vowels in English. Here's the first vowel. Ah. Open your mouth wide as if you were at the dentist and relax your tongue. Then try to say, ah. 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 
The next vowel is o. Think of the o sound in orange. Round the lips as if you're surprised. O. 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 And the next vowel is o. Purse your lips as though you are about to whistle or blow up a balloon, or say oo as in blue. Oo. 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 The lips are more relaxed for the Korean oo sound than the English oo. Compare the Korean oo with the English oo. 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 The next vowel is. E. Open your mouth as if you were trying to show your teeth and say the letter E. Say it like the E in meat, but shorter. E. 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 Now review the four vowels that we've just learned so far. Repeat each vowel after hearing the pronunciation from our native speaker. Ah. Ah. O. 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 E. E. Okay. Now let's move on. The next three vowels you will learn look like this. These three vowels look very similar to the ones that you just learned. The only difference is that they each have an extra stroke attached to them. Listen to how the pronunciation of the vowels change when the small stroke is added. Ah, yeah. This small stroke adds a Y sound to the beginning of the original sound. Compare the pronunciation of these two letters once again. Ah. Yeah. When you say this letter, don't pronounce the Y sound for too long. Listen to the pronunciation again. Yeah. 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 The next vowel is U. Take the original U sound and add a Y to make U. Together, they sound almost the same as you in English, but with a shorter Y. You. 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 And the next vowel is you. Again, add a short Y sound to the O. Listen to the pronunciation again. Yo. 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 Now review the three basic vowels that have Y at the beginning. Repeat each vowel after hearing the pronunciation from our native speaker. Ya. Ya. You. 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 Make sure you master these sounds because you'll need these vowels to properly speak in Korean. Was seeing the pronunciation illustrations helpful? Please comment and share your thoughts. We'll learn the rest of the vowels which have no English equivalent in our next lesson. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome back to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. Two lessons ago, we learned to count from 1 to 10 using Chinese numbers. 
In the last lesson, we learned a whole other way to count from 1 to 10 using native Korean numbers. Do you remember all these numbers? Let's see if you can recall the native ones first. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Great job! And how about the Chinese numbers? Do you remember those? 일, 이, 삼, 사, 오, 육, 칠, 팔, 구, 십. Phew, that's a lot of numbers. But I bet you're wondering what comes next, right? Well, if you think about it, 11 is just 10 plus 1. How would you say that in Korean? No need to overthink it. 10, 10 plus 1, 1 equals 11. So 11 is 11. And how about 12? 10, 10 plus 2, 2 equals 12. So 12 is 12. Seem too easy to be true? It's not. And it doesn't get any harder when you hit 20. 20 is really just two tens. Multiply 2, e by 10, 10 to get 20, 20. Just as you'd expect, 30 is 30, 40 is 40, and so on. Now that you know how to count tens, you can make it all the way to 99. For example, I bet you can tell me the Korean word for 87, even though we haven't counted nearly that high yet. Can you? First, we need to say 80. 80 is 8 tens, so 80 is 80. Finally, say the word for 7. 7. 87 is 87. Let's learn one more word. The Korean word for 100 is 100. 100. Can you guess how to say 150 in Korean? 100 is 100. And 50 is 50. So 150 is? That's right. It's 150. And I'm sure you can figure out how to say 250. Great job! Now it's time for Amy's insights. You just learned how to count above 10 for Chinese numbers, but it works the exact same way for native numbers. 11 is 열 하나. 열 is 10 and 하나 is 1. 12 is 열 둘. 열 is 10 and 둘 is 2 and so on. In the next lesson, we're going to learn the handy phrase 얼마예요? Do you know what it means? We'll see this phrase and many others that will help you shop. I'll be waiting for you in our next 3분 한국어 lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com's 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned how to thank people by saying 감사합니다 and 고마워. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Korea. Are you ready? Then let's start. The most common informal greeting is 안녕. 안녕. 안녕 means peace. We say it when we meet someone and also when we leave, but only to a friend or someone younger than us. The more standard greeting that you will hear a lot in Korea is 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Literally, 안녕하세요 means are you at peace? We use it to say hello when we meet someone. It's technically a question, but we don't always say it that way. 안녕하세요. Because 안녕하세요 is a question, some people answer it with 예, yeah, which means yes, before replying with the same question 안녕하세요. When it's time to leave, we have a couple different ways to say goodbye. If you're leaving and the other person is staying, say 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 
계세요. 계세요 means please stay. So 안녕히 계세요 literally means please stay peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 계세요 is 잘 있어. 잘 means well and 있어 means stay informally. So 잘 있어 just means stay well. 잘 있어. If the other person is leaving, say 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. 가세요 means please go. So 안녕히 가세요 literally means please go peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 가세요 is 잘 가. 잘 means well and 가 means go informally. So 잘 가 just means go well. Now you know lots of ways to greet people in Korean. Let's review them all once again. To greet someone casually, 안녕. To greet someone respectfully, 안녕하세요. To say goodbye respectfully when you're leaving and the other person is staying, 안녕히 계세요. To say goodbye casually when you're leaving, 잘 있어. To say goodbye respectfully when the other person is leaving, 안녕히 가세요. To say goodbye casually when the other person is leaving, 잘 가. During the next lesson, we will learn the meaning of the phrase 영어를 할수 있어요? Do you already know it? We'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our new 3분 한국어 lesson. 여러분 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 core Korean words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is... 웃다, laugh, 웃다, 웃다, laugh. 커플이 농담에 웃었다. The couple is laughing at a joke. 커플이 농담에 웃었다. 맛있어요. Delicious. 맛있어요. 맛있어요. Delicious. 중국 음식은 맛있어요. Chinese food is delicious. 중국 음식은 맛있어요. 물, water, 물, 물, water. 물좀 마실 수 있을까요? Can I have some water, please? 물좀 마실 수 있을까요? 차 tea 차 차, 차. tea 차한잔 하시겠습니까? 
Would you like a cup of tea? 차한잔 하시겠습니까? 커피 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 한잔 cup of coffee 커피 한잔 맥주 beer 맥주 맥주 beer 차가운 맥주 cold beer 차가운 맥주 포도주 wine 포도주 포도주 wine 포도주 한잔 glass of wine 포도주 한잔 쇠고기 beef 쇠고기 쇠고기 beef 쇠고기 스테이크 beef steak 쇠고기 스테이크 닭고기 chicken 닭고기 닭고기 chicken 닭고기는 튀길 수도 있고 구울 수도 있습니다. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roast. 닭고기는 튀길 수도 있고 구울 수도 있습니다. 돼지고기 Pork 돼지고기 돼지 고기 pork 포크는 돼지 고기입니다. pork is the meat from a pig. 포크는 돼지 고기입니다. 생선 fish 생선 생선 fish 닭고기와 생선 요리 중 무엇을 드시겠습니까? chicken or fish 닭고기와 생선 요리 중 무엇을 드시겠습니까? 양고기 lamb 양고기 양고기 lamb 양고기는 대단히 맛있습니다. lamb is extremely delicious. 양고기는 대단히 맛있습니다. 의사 doctor 의사 의사 doctor 
혹시 몸이 아프면 의사에게 진찰을 받으세요. If you get sick, go to the doctor. 혹시 몸이 아프면 의사에게 진찰을 받으세요. 경찰관 police officer 경찰관 경찰관 police officer 경찰관에게 도움을 청할게요. I will ask a police officer for help. 경찰관에게 도움을 청할게요. 선생님 teacher 선생님 선생님 teacher 영어 선생님 English teacher 영어 선생님 직원 employee 직원 직원 employee 여직원 female employee 여직원 오다 come 오다 오다 come 여자아이가 비디오 카메라를 향해 온다. The girl came towards the video camera. 여자아이가 비디오 카메라를 향해 온다. 보다 see 보다 보다 C 관광객이 일몰을 보았다. The tourist saw the sunset. 관광객이 일몰을 보았다. 만들다 Make 만들다 만들다 make 요리사가 오렌지 주스를 만든다 the chef makes orange juice 요리사가 오렌지 주스를 만든다 사용하다 use 사용하다 사용하다 use 프로그래머가 컴퓨터를 사용하고 있다 The programmer is using a computer 프로그래머가 컴퓨터를 사용하고 있다 Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어. 
the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Korean, including 죄송합니다 and 미안해. In this lesson, we are going to learn some numbers. Yes, numbers. 숫자. There are actually two systems of counting in Korean. In this lesson, you are going to learn the Chinese-based numbers 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 3분. Are you ready? Then let's start. 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 6 7 7 7 8 8 8 9 9 9 10 10 10 Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Great job! What comes before 1? Do you know how to say 0 in Korean? It's 0. But in phone numbers, it's often said 0. 0. 0. Imagine someone tells you a phone number. Can you understand it? 0. 1. 0. 3. 1. 7. 5. 4. 2. 6. 8. Now it's time for Amy's insights. As we mentioned earlier, Korean has two systems of counting. The Chinese-based one we are learning now and the native Korean one. The Chinese-based one is easier, so we are learning it first. But we will learn the native Korean counting system in the very next Hanbun Hanguka lesson. See you then! 다음에 또 만나요! Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned the most common greetings in Korean. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Korean, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're asking, even if their answer is no. Are you ready? Then let's start! Here's the basic way to ask whether someone speaks English. 영어 하세요? 영어 하세요? 영어 means English, and 하세요 means do you do? So 영어 하세요? means, do you do English? If you want to be a little more specific and ask about someone's ability to speak English, you can say, 영어 할수 있어요? 할수 있어요 means, can you do? Can you do English? 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? This sentence could be very helpful if you're in trouble on the street, in a restaurant, or a hotel. No matter where you are, if you're looking for someone who can speak English, just ask. If you want to be super polite, just add 실례하지만, which means excuse me but 실례하지만 영어 하세요? Excuse me but do you speak English? 실례하지만 영어 하세요? The response will probably be like one of these three. Yeah? Yes? 예, 조금이요. 
just a little. 조금이요. 아니 못해요. No, I don't. 아니 못해요. Since this last one is a negative statement about ability, we add 못, an adverb meaning can't. 못해요 means I can't. Now it's time for Amy's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. 일본어 for Japanese, 중국어 for Chinese, 스페인어 for Spanish, 독일어 for German, 프랑스어 for French. If you want to say, do you speak German? You can simply replace 영어 with 독일어. 독일어 하세요? Do you speak German? 독일어 하세요? In this lesson, we mentioned the word 실례합니다, meaning excuse me. In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Korean. It's never too late to show your good manners to Korean people. I'll see you in our next 한분 한국어 lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. <목소리> 안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. Hi everybody. I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean In the last lesson, we learned the Chinese base numbers from 1 to 10 Have you already forgotten them? I'll tell you again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 It's great that you can count to 10 but did you know there's a whole other way to do that? That's right. In addition to the numbers based on Chinese characters, there are also the native Korean numbers that we have been using before we even had Chinese characters. Here they are. 하나, 원, 하나. 둘, 두, 둘. 셋, 3, 셋. 넷, 4, 넷, 다섯, 5, 다섯, 여섯, 6, 여섯, 일곱, 7, 일곱, 여덟, 8, 여덟, 아홉, 9, 아홉, 열, 10, 열. Which one do we use? We use both. Some things are counted using Chinese-based numbers and other things using native Korean numbers. For example, when telling time, we say the hour using a native Korean number and the minute using a Chinese-based number. So let's practice these numbers and learn how to say times too. Here's how to say the hour first. 3 o'clock is 3시. 3시. The native Korean number 3 is 3. But we shorten it to 세 when we put it before a counter like 시. The last consonant, 시옷, of 세 disappeared when it meets the counting unit. When you add 하나, 1, 둘, 2, 세, 3, 넷, 4 with the counting units, the last vowel or consonant of each number will disappear. So 하나 is 1. But 1 o'clock is 한시. When 하나 meets the counting unit 시, the last vowel 아 disappears. 둘 is 2. But 2 o'clock is 두시. The last consonant 리을 disappeared. 넷 is 4. But 4 o'clock is 네시. Same thing here. The last consonant 시옷 disappeared. This rule is only for number 1 to 4. Otherwise, it is simply the Korean number plus 시. 10시, 10 o'clock, 7시, 7 o'clock. Now that you know how to say the hour, let's say the minute. The counter for minutes in Korean is 분. Be sure to use a Chinese-based number with this counter. 
Do you know how to say 310 in Korean? It's just 3시 10분. 3 in native numbers plus the word for hour. 3시. Then 10 in Chinese numbers. 10. And finally the word for minutes. 분. 3시 10분. A little confusing, right? Don't worry, you will get the hang of it soon enough. Just remember that for hours we use Korean numbers and for minutes we use Chinese numbers. Now it's time for Amy's insights. Here are some other suffixes used to count things. 명 for people, 한 명, 두 명, 번 for the number of times something happens, 한 번, 두 번. In the next lesson, we're finally going to break 10 and learn the numbers from 11 to 100. You definitely don't want to miss it. So join us next time for more 3분 한국어. 다음에 또 만나요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? Hello, how have you been? 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? Excuse me. How much is this? 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. I'm sorry. It was a typo. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 안녕히 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. Good night, Grandma. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. Please come in. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. 
어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? It's been a long time. How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? 네. Yes. 네. 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 Yes. 네, 이거로 주세요. Yes, this one, please. 네, 이거로 주세요. 아니요? No. 아니요? 아니요? No. 아니요, 아직 안 먹었어요. No, I haven't eaten yet. 아니요, 아직 안 먹었어요. 고마워요. Thank you. 고마워요. 고마워요. Thank you. 초대해줘서 고마워요. Thank you very much for the invitation. 초대해 줘서 고마워요. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 소피입니다. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 존입니다. I'm John. 저는 존입니다. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. Goodbye. See you again. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. 나쁜 Bad 나쁜 나쁜 Bad 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. Be careful of bad people. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. 좋은 Good 좋은 좋은 Good 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. My teacher is a good person. 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. 예쁜 Pretty 예쁜 예쁜 Pretty. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. I have a pretty girlfriend. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. 못생긴 Ugly. 못생긴 
못생긴 ugly 못생긴 얼굴 ugly face 못생긴 얼굴 쉬운 easy 쉬운 쉬운 easy 쉬운 시험 easy exam 쉬운 시험 어려운 difficult 어려운 어려운 difficult 어려운 문제 difficult problem 어려운 문제 가까이에 near 가까이에 가까이에 near 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. I live near the university. 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. 멀리 far 멀리 멀리 far 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. The station is far from here. 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. 작은 small 작은 작은 small 작은 실수 small mistake 작은 실수 Remember the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean If that sounds like a lot don't worry we can help you Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! koreanclass101.com. Amy입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul on KoreanClass101.com, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we started on the consonants and learned three of them. Today, we are going to add four more consonants and learn how to write more Korean words and phrases. Our first consonant today is Nian. Ni Ni Na Na No No Nya Nya Nyo Nyo Nu Nu No No Nu Nu Nyo 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 you can think of this character's shape as a tongue pressed against teeth, which is what you do when you make this sound. Try to make this sound and notice the position of your tongue. 
with this consonant, you can now write two important Korean pronouns. First, na, which means I or me. Second is, do, which is an informal way to say you. We can also write the question word, Dugu, which means who. Next up is Pigut. T. T. Ta. Ta. To. To. Tia. Tia. Tio. Tio. Tu. 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 Hu. Tu. Tu. Tio. 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 When you look at the shape, think about the first line as the dirt and the second line as the path of somebody digging. Tigut. Here's another important question word in Korean. Odi, where? Remember that in our last lesson, we added one more stroke to kiok in order to make the aspirated version kiok. We will do the same thing with tigut. Adding one more stroke to make the aspirated version tiut. T T Ta Ta To To Tia Tia Tio Tio Tu Tu To To Tu, tu, tio, tio, tu, tu. You can probably guess the meaning of the next word after hearing it. Gita, it means guitar. Korean has many of these words that come from English with a slight change in pronunciation, such as sticker. Artist and Toki. One more consonant today, and that's Ryul. Ri, Ri, Ra, Ra, Ro, Ro, Ria, Ria, Rio, Rio, Ru, Ru. Ru, 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 Ru. Its pronunciation falls somewhere between the English L and R. Think about this shape like a marble rolling down a track. Riel. Here's one more pronoun that you can write today. Uri, which means we or us. You can use this word for both formal and informal situations. And here's the Korean word for radio, which is almost exactly like English. Let's finish this lesson up with a short dialogue. Yep. You now know enough Hangul in vocabulary words to read and write a short exchange between two people. We've learned these words in the previous lessons. Can you read this? Let's look at the first sentence. The first two syllables are 어디, which means where. We learned that one earlier today. The next two syllables are from last lesson, and they mean I'm going, 가요. But if you add a question mark and read the last syllable with a rising tone, the whole sentence means, where are you going? 어디 가요? The second sentence ends with the same two characters, but without a question mark. 가요. And the first two characters is 휴가, the Korean word for vacation that we learned last lesson. So what do you think the sentence means? 휴가 가요. I'm going on vacation. 
Wow, after only five lessons, you've come a long way. Just think what you will know in another five lessons. But don't forget to take things step by step, reviewing along the way. When you are ready, I'll see you in the next lesson where you will learn even more consonants. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. KoreanClass101.com Hanahana Hangul Series의 Amy입니다. Hi everybody, I'm Amy and welcome to Hanahana Hangul on KoreanClass101.com. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we learned these four consonants. You now know well over half of the characters in written Korean. And we will learn another three today. Ready? Let's go! Our first character is really easy to remember. It's just a square. Mium. Mi. Mi. Ma. Ma. Mia. Mia. Mo. Mo. Mio. Mio. Mu. 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 Mo. Mo. Mio. Mio. To remember the sound of this character, you could think about the shape of a monitor or an open mouth. Try to read this. Body. This means head. Let's look at this character again. Think of this like a box. Now press the top of it down until the air inside it is under more pressure. What does an mm sound like when it's under more pressure? B. P. P. Pa. Pa. Pia. Pia. Po, po, pio, pio, pu, pu, po, po, pio, pio, pu, 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 pu. Here's a word you will often hear on Korean TV. Papo. This means full. It can either be playful or rude depending on how it's said. So be careful. Let's go back to our box under pressure. If we add any more pressure, it might explode. And then it would look like this. What's a B sound like with even more pressure? P. P P Pa Pa Pia Pia Po Po Pio Pio P P Po Po Pio Pio P P Pio Pio Try reading this word. Pibu. This means skin. And here is a phrase that you might have to use in Korea. Apayo. It means I'm sick or it hurts. You can use some words from past lessons to make this sentence more advanced. In the last lesson, we learned the word where, 어디. You can add this to the phrase and get 어디 아파요? Literally, it means where does it hurt? And you already know a few body part words. Remember the word for head? 
Molly. So, how would you say your head hurts? We can say, Molly 아파요. My head hurts. Or, I have a headache. Any other body parts we know? It's a little strange, but we just learned the word for skin. 피부. 피부 아파요. My skin hurts. Nice work! You might have started watching to learn the Korean writing system, but you're also getting a jump start on general Korean knowledge. If you haven't tried out the audio lessons on koreanclass101.com, now's a great chance to try out some real-life conversations. And you will learn the final three consonants in the next lesson. You are only one lesson away from knowing all the unique shapes in Korean. After that, it's just a matter of positioning those shapes around to create different words. Be sure not to miss the next lesson of Hana Hana Hangul. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 만나요. Hello, everyone. Korean Class 101.com. Hana Hana Hangul series. Amy. Hi, everybody. I'm Amy, and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul and Korean Class 101.com. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we learned these three consonants. Only three more basic characters left, and we will learn them all in this lesson. All three of today's characters are related in shape and in sound. We will start with the simplest one, 시읒. 시. 시. 사. 사. 서. 서. 샤. 샤. 셔. 셔. 스. 스. 소. 소. 수, 수, 쇼, 쇼, 슈, 슈. It's pronounced s, and you can think of the shape like an upside down seesaw. Here's a short sentence which means I buy. 사요. You can make this sentence more complex by putting a noun in front of it. So, note. Is note. I buy notes. Would be note 사요. 우유. 면 milk. So, I buy milk. Would be 우유 사요. We will learn some new nouns in this lesson that we can put into this pattern. The next character is like 시읒 with a line at the top, and it's pronounced 즈 or 츠. 지, 지, 자, 자, 저, 저, 자, 자, 저, 저. 지, 지, 조, 조, 주, 주, 조, 조, 주, 주. You might see this character written this way, depending on which typeface is used. So be ready for it. Now you can write lion in Korean. 사자. To write the last basic character, just add another stroke on top of the z. This is chi. 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 Cha. 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 Chi. Chi. 초, 초, 주, 주, 초, 초, 주, 주. 
Here's car in Korean. 차. And here's cheese. Cheese. We can combine cheese with the sentence we learned earlier. 사요. To make cheese 사요. I buy cheese. What else can you buy? 모자 사요. I buy a hat. 차 사요. I buy a car. 바지 사요. I buy pants. 치마 사요. I buy a skirt. You've learned all the basic characters, but your hunger journey doesn't end here. You now have all the raw materials, but there's still more to learn about putting things together. Don't worry, you've made it this far, so just stick with me a few more lessons and you will know everything there is to know about hunger. In the next lesson, we'll do a thorough review of the last six lessons and smooth out any problems you may be having and learn a few points about pronunciation. See you next time! 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요! Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com's 한분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Korean. Today, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Are you ready? Then let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the most common phrase, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다 means I do thanks or thank you. To say thank you very much, you just need to add 대단히, which means very much or greatly. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 means greatly. So 대단히 감사합니다. It's like saying, thank you very much. In the last lesson, we saw that Korean has formal and informal ways of speaking. 감사합니다 is pretty formal. If you want to thank someone more casually, you can use a shorter phrase. 고마워. 고마워. Let's break down those phrases. In the formal way of saying thank you, 감사합니다. 감사 means thank you. And 합니다 is a formal way to say to do. So 감사합니다 means I do thanks. And to make it less formal, we swap out 감사 with a different verb. That's 고마워. It has the same meaning of thank you, but it's more friendly. When someone thanks you, how should you answer? There's no set response like you're welcome in English. But there are a few things that you can say. The first thing is, 아니에요. 아니에요. You literally are saying no. But this is a common and informal way to respond to someone thanking you. You're telling the person that there's nothing to bother thanking you for. There's another phrase that's used to respond to thank you in Korean. 천만해요. 천만해요. But it's not used all that often. You're better off with 아니에요 in most situations. Now it's time for Amy's insights. 감사합니다 sounds formal. 고마워 sounds informal. What if you want to sound kind of formal but still kind of friendly? In that case, you can upgrade the informal 고마워 to 고마워요. You see, you simply add 요 at the end. 요 is the sentence ending particles that make sentences more polite. This is a nice way to thank your waiter. 고마워요. Have you ever heard the phrase 안녕히 계세요 before? In our next lesson, you will learn this and more greetings in Korean. 여러분 감사합니다. 다음에 봐요.
if you've ever wanted to sing Korean songs, write a letter in Korean, be able to get around in Korea, or just jumpstart your Korean learning, you're in the right place even if you're an absolute beginner to Korean. By the time you're done with this series, you'll be able to read and write Hangul like a pro. And you'll get a feel for Korean culture and learn some vocabulary at the same time. We will start by covering the 10 vowels and 14 consonants of written Korean. As you learn these components, you will also get plenty of practice writing and reading them with example words. Then we will talk about double consonants and vowels, the pachim, and the pronunciation rules that will help you speak like a native. By the end of this series, you will be able to understand the language on a whole new level and have completed an important milestone in mastering Korean. Hana Hana means step by step in Korean. And that's just how we're going to tackle the Hangul. Just watch these videos, review what you've learned using the resources on koreanclass101.com. And you're on your way to mastering Hangul. We will start with some very good news. Hangul is easy. For one thing, it has much fewer characters than, say, Japanese or Chinese. There are only 24. We use these 24 characters in different combination to form syllables. Each block of characters equals one syllable. Here's an important rule you need to know about these blocks. Each block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. You will see what we mean when we start to look at some characters. In Hangul, there are 10 vowels and 14 consonants. Today, you will learn two of the vowels and one consonant. Are you ready? Your first vowel is E. 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 This is pretty easy, right? Practice writing this character as you say the pronunciation out loud. As you say this simple sound, it might surprise you to know that you're actually saying a Korean word. This word means teeth, e. So how would you write this word? Like this? Nope. Remember the rule we mentioned earlier? Every block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. But in this case of e, there is no consonant, so instead we put a placeholder. The circle called an ian acts as a placeholder for the consonant. So whenever you have a vowel on its own, this placeholder comes before it. Draw the E vowel to the right of the placeholder. So when you want to write the word E or the syllable E in the middle of another word, this is how you would write it. Pretty easy so far, right? Now, if you take the last character and add a short stroke to the right side, it becomes your second vowel, a. Ah. 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 As you practice the pronunciation, try to associate the sound with the character. Writing it while saying it really helps. Pop quiz! With what you know so far, try to figure out how to write this Korean word. A -E. Once more, A -E. This is the character you just learned followed by the first character you learned today. Remember what we learned about the placeholders? You need to put the placeholder circles next to each vowel sound when they stand on their own. And that's how you write A -E, which is the Korean word for child. A -E. Are you starting to get the hang of it? You've just finished your first Hangul lesson and you've learned three of the 24 basic characters. In the next lesson, you will learn three more. Keep taking it hana hana step by step and keep practicing with the koreanclass101.com. You will be surprised how fast you master Korean writing. 여러분 다음에 만나요. You're off to a great start on your Korean language journey. Just take this lesson step by step. Make sure you review after each one, and soon you will be reading Korean like a pro. Here's a great way to review what you've learned. Look at some actual Korean writing. You may not know the meanings or most of the characters, 
but practice recognizing what you have learned. After each lesson, you'll recognize a little bit more. Today, you're going to learn three more vowels. Let's get started. First, here are the characters you learned in the last lesson. A, I, and Yun. Your next character looks pretty similar. So pay attention to the differences. A. Listen carefully to the pronunciation. A. A. Now pay attention to these two characters. It might be easy to confuse the two. If the small strokes is on the left, it is A. 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 If it is on the right, it is A. 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 If you can remember this one point, the rest of this lesson will be easy. The next character is this, ya. Listen carefully to the pronunciation. Ya. Ya. The sound has a lot in common with the last character sound, doesn't it? The only difference is the Y sound in ya. The second short stroke will add a Y sound. You will see this pattern pop up again in the next character. So if this is a, what would this character be? Can you guess? The answer is ya. 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 The second short stroke will add a y sound. Take a look at these four similar characters together. O. O. A. A. Yo. Yo. Ya. Ya. Can you remember these characters? Here are a few vocabulary words to practice. Can you read this word? This is ya, which is an informal way to say hey in Korean. You might hear this word in Korean drama or songs. Ya. How about this? This is aya, which means ouch. Great job, you made it through another lesson. And now know half of the vowels in Korean. Keep practicing and soon we will be able to read Korean quickly and naturally. Remember this from the beginning of the lesson? After just three more vowels, you should be able to recognize much more of it. Try to recognize these characters in some real life Korean around you. In the next lesson, you will learn the rest of the vowels. In the meantime, keep reviewing what you've learned, and I'll see you later. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. In this lesson, you will finish up the Korean vowels. With a solid understanding of the 10 vowel sounds, pronouncing Korean will become really easy. So make sure to review until you feel completely confident. Compare these five new vowels to the five you already know. What's the obvious difference? The answer is that the vowels we learned before all have a long vertical stroke, and these new vowels have a long horizontal stroke. In fact, if you rotated the first five vowels, you would end up with the new vowels we're going to learn today. When writing syllables in Korean, it's important to think about whether the vowel you're using is a tall vowel or a fat vowel. The reason is that the way you assemble the characters into blocks will change depending on the shape of the vowel. For example, you know what to do when the vowel is tall, right? You add the consonant to the left of the vowel. But if the vowel is fat, you would add the consonant on top. Think about it like this. You need to fill up a square so the consonant adjusts to fill the rest of the space. Here is your first fat vowel, O. 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 Here's a good way to remember this one. The small stroke is over the long stroke, O. Flip that character over and you get the next vowel, U. O. O. You can remember this pronunciation by thinking of the small stroke being under the large stroke. How about some vocabulary words? Can you read this word? 
This is ui, which means cucumber. How about this word? This is yao, which means fox. You now know four vowels that are made from a long stroke and a short stroke. Take a look at them together. From the top going clockwise, you have o, u, a, a, u, u, o, o. When you add another short stroke, a Y sound is added to the front of these sounds. Add another short stroke to u, and it becomes yo. 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 Likewise, take u and add another short stroke, and it becomes yu. 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 Can you read these four vowels now? Counterclockwise from the top. Yo. 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 Yu. Yu. Ya. Ya. One more. U. U. Uh. The shape of this vowel actually resembles the shape of your mouth when you say it. Now for ex some example words, can you read this? This is uyu, which means milk. And this? This is yo. It's a formal sentence ending particle. You put it at the end of a sentence to make it polite. For example, uyuyo. How about this word? It's iyu, which means reason. There you go. You've just learned all the basic vowels in Korean. These vowels will appear in every single syllable of Korean. So the more you know them now, the easier future lessons will be. In the next lesson, you will start learning consonant sounds. This is where your Korean ability will really start to take off. So be sure to watch the next lesson at koreanclass101.com. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. 안녕하세요, 에이미예요. 반가워요. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. In this series, 한분 한국어, we are going to learn basic Korean expressions. It's super easy and it takes only three minutes. First of all, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Korean. There are a few different ways to do it depending on how formal you want to be. Let's first look at an informal way to introduce yourself. 안녕, Amy야. 반가워. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. 안녕, Amy야. 반가워. Here, 안녕 means peace. So literally, you say peace to say hello in Korean. Next, you can say your name, then add the sentence ending particle, ya. My name is Amy, so I say, Amy ya. Finally, you say, pangawa. Pangawa means, nice to meet you. Now you try it. Start by saying, annyeong. Then say your name, followed by, ya. If your name is David, you can say, David ya. Finally, say, pangawa. 안녕, 데이비드야. 반가워. Now let's see a formal version. 안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. 안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. What has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at this together. First, 안녕 has to change to 안녕하세요. 하세요 is the verb meaning to do. If you add 하세요 next to 안녕, it becomes more formal and polite. 안녕하세요. Next, you can replace the particle 야 with 에요. Both of them are sentence ending particles, and you can put them after nouns. But 야 is informal, and 에요 is formal. So if you say 에이미에요, Instead of Amy Ya, you can introduce your name in more formal way. Finally, Pangawayo. Do you remember how to say nice to meet you in the informal way?
Hanga wo. Here, you can simply add the particle yo at the end of the verb. Then it becomes formal. Yo is a particle that can make a sentence polite. Panga wo yo. One more time. The formal way to introduce yourself is 안녕하세요, Amy예요, 반가워요. The informal way to introduce yourself is 안녕, Amy야, 반가워. Now it's time for Amy's insights. When you introduce yourself in Korea, it's polite to make a small bow. If you're a guy, bow with your hands at your sides. If you're a girl, bow with your hands in front of you. Bow from the waist. You don't have to dip down very far. Do you know how to say thank you in Korean? You will learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. 다음에 봐요. See you then. In this lesson, you'll begin to add consonants to the 10 vowels you've already learned. By the end, you'll be able to read and write 40 different syllables, which will unlock many more Korean words. Ready for your first consonant? Here it is. 기억. When making syllables, the consonant goes where the circle from the last lessons used to go. Can you guess how these are read? 기. 기. 가. 가. 갸. 갸. 거. 거. 겨. 겨. 그. 그. 구. 구. 규. 규. 고. 고. 교. 교. Remember how some Korean vowels look and sound similar? For example, add another stroke to a and you get ya. The same thing happens with the consonants. In this case, add one more stroke to our last character and we get a very similar sound, kya. Ki. Ki. Ka. Ka. Kya. Kya. Ko. Ko. Kyo. Kyo. Ku. Ku. Ko. Ko. Kyo. Kyo. Ku. Ku. Kyu. Kyu. Can you hear the difference? Ki. 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 Gi. The difference is subtle, but it's there. If you're having a hard time, don't worry. We will go into the details of pronunciation in lesson 8, so don't miss it. One more consonant today. Hyut. Hi. Hi. Ha. Ha. Hya. Hya. Ho. Ho. Hyo. Hyo. You can think of this shape as a hat on a hat, which might help you remember the pronunciation. Now it's time for a few simple words. Can you read all of this correctly? How about this phrase? It's yogiyo. It means here please or excuse me. Use it while you are in a Korean restaurant and you want to call the waiter over to your table. Yogiyo. And this one. It's kayo. This means I'm going. How about this word? Hyuga. It means vacation. To create a more complex sentence, 휴가 가요. 
and going on vacation. After just four lessons, you're already writing sentences in Korean. Just think what you can learn in a few more. Be sure to watch the next lesson on koreanclass101.com. Now that you're finished with this lesson, don't forget, as a free bonus, you get over 30 conversation cheat sheets, but only if you sign up via the link in the description. You'll learn how to have flowing conversations and how to answer the most common questions. You can also print out these colorful cheat sheets to keep as physical study material. So don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get your PDF cheat sheets.